And we are live. Wayne's World, Wayne's World, party, party time. time. Sorry. It's only close to whenever you, whenever you, your countdown, when you do that, I don't, I don't mean to, to interrupt you, but your yeah. countdown reminds me that. I don't mean to interrupt you, but I am. Continue. Okay, continue. <laughs> Dungeon Master. So yes, uh, welcome to this week's episode of Drink Talk Roll, uh, A to J's own D&D podcast. I'm your friendly Dungeon Master, JD. Ah. Here with uh, these three uh, fools that want want me to run a game for them for some reason. Uh, would you mm-hmm. mind introducing yourselves? Let's start with Hal. Sure. Uh, my name is Hal. Uh, do you want to introduce character as well? Yeah. Uh, I am playing a uh, half-elf warlock named Ulrich. And uh, he's here just realistically for a good time. Um, I don't have anything to plug or anything like that. So uh, I'll just pass it over to Badman. He's a VTuber. You're, at, you're actually a VTuber. Not. Oh, damn Literally fuck, not. You beat me to it. This is a PNG at best. Fuck. Uh, yo, what's up, guys? My name is uh, Frederick. I mean, my name is Warren, aka Frederick Batman, aka that dude, but not that dude, aka two names McGee. And I am playing uh, Jetta Jaguar. Uh, right now, I I mean, uh, we're weird elves, right? Do we do we do we do we? We're weird elves. You, you, you are okay. We're weird elves. We're weird elves. We, you, you're um, a kind. W- would you uh, would you have a name for that kind of elf by chance? You're no, a we're kind. Just weird elves. I mean, like, you're uh, a kind. Uh, <laughs> The uh, technical term from the uh, <laughs> like official rule books is Shouter Kai, but those have a lot of yeah. uh, mythology attached to them that doesn't exist in this world. So, and they don't know what they are specifically. They just know they're weird elves. Yeah, we're just weird elves. And uh, what, I'm, I'm, so far, I'm a fighter, but I'm going to be later. I'm going to be a gunslinger. Yeah. And I pass it over to my buddy, our other homie. Manual. Yeah, it's me, the other weird elf. The other, by the way, when I said Yurikai, I wasn't kidding. I just was stupid. I had a, like a fart moment. Um. Anyway, uh, I use Manual <laughs> Leader of AJ Connections. Uh, I do a lot of panels and shit. And yeah, just follow me wherever the fuck you want to follow me, it, it, or don't. I don't fucking care. But anyways, I'm playing Ammer the Skull Crusher, also a weird elf fighter who will later on become a crusader. Yes. Yo, you you know I kind of miss in, in your intro is when you used to say the internet's favorite cryptid. Yeah, but he knows yeah. that's not true anymore. He's met the internet paper encrypted. I'm gonna start saying it again. Add that kid. Add, 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 add that kid. I, I actually. There you go. Do it again. Go yeah. Ahead. <clears throat> hey everyone, this is Manuel, leader of, leader of A to J Connections, and and the internet's favorite cryptid. Tonight, I am playing Amber, the Skull Crusher, who is not the internet's favorite cryptid, but he is a Shardar Kai fight. Shardar Kai. Shardar Kai fighter. And I'll pass it over to. He's also Nightwing. Yeah. So yes, uh, to recap last week's session, uh, the New Year Festival started in the town of Arizel, where all of our uh, party members uh, coalesced uh, toward, in the middle of the festival, a strange masked man with a small troop of goblins following him appeared. Uh, Eventually, that masked man made his way up Mount Rasala to the Temple of the Sun and Moon, where uh, they started what seemed to be like a raid and kind of robbery. So while the uh, party was fighting off the goblins in the main area of the temple, uh, the masked man had taken Elder Brendan Alvarado, the uh, leader of this temple, into a secret room and stolen four uh, sacred stars uh, that are said to be the key to saving the world according to ancient prophecies. Though, luckily, uh, thanks to Amra's uh, quick thinking and managing to play dead, they did manage to steal back one star, uh, the Air Emerald, uh, with Mm. an inkling that the Masked Man might be heading towards uh, the town of Ikana. Uh, That was where we left off after, uh, as well as Elder Brandon explaining, like, both the creation myth of the world and how it kind of relates to what these stars represent, like the four... Uh, crystallizations of the elements. Oh yeah, we all, we all died. Yeah. Well, we didn't die. You got your butts kicked. Yeah, we got yeah, our butts. It, kicked. Just, we got it was the up, early uh, RPG fight that you can't win. And right before you we, uh, you win you win, but you die in the cutscene. Yeah. <laughs> and right and right before we get into the D and D nonsense, uh, DM, do you want to roll and see if we're gonna have zeros or twenties? And then how do you want to explain the rules of uh, zeros or twenties? Let's uh, drink on twenties yeah. tonight. Oh, ones, ones. Sorry. Yeah, let's drink on twenties uh, tonight. Yeah, for for I was, I was gonna oh, just wait until like we we hit one and we all start screaming like baboons. <laughs> but uh, 
yeah, the, the usual rules for us are that we we take a shot and or sip and or drink whatever in between, depending on what we're drinking, uh, on nat ones and nat twenties on d twenties. Um, we we let the DM decide whether it's going to be nat ones or nat twenties for the night. We would do both, but a one in ten chance of us getting obliterated is surprisingly high for us. So, <laughs> damn it, man. We were supposed to do it for max damage and minimum damage too. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a shot. I will pass away way. if we do that. I will I will I will simply expire. I will I will <laughs> I will die. <laughs> I'll do it, Damn but it. I'll die. Okay, you know you know how we'll, we'll do our, our special occasion. Uh, I think the very spooky we'll that we'll do the the double shot if it's like all like like if you literally make like three max like three max in a row. Mm -hmm. Can you can uh, you just see this? Sure. There's something on my shot glass. Should I drink out of this? You see that? You see Man, that mark? Yeah, we'll just get another shot dog. glass then. It's like a mark on. I'm gonna drink out of it anyway. Where? Where's my San Jose? See, this at? is what working with manual is like. You see it? Should see I do mark this? It on no, the top? I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah, that, that's manual. <laughs> oh, it's a little. It's, it's like a, a little. It's a little. It's a little dent for you to drink out of it. You know. This like, is also me manual telling not to talk about something on stream and then having to mute him in the edit. Well, here's the shot. Let's go. Don't be scared. So yes, uh, you all are still in uh, the star chamber of uh, the temple. Uh, Elder Brandon has, uh, once again, just explained kind of the significance of uh, the things that were stolen. Uh -huh. And uh, said that he could swear he heard the masked man mumbling something about heading towards Ikana. Mm. You're all, even though you did level up at the end of the session, you're all still fairly tired from just uh, getting defeated by that group of goblins. Maybe. I'm I didn't sober get defeated. Now. You played dead. That was surrendering. <laughs> I didn't get defeated. Though. <laughs> That's true. I got defeated. I'm no, so no, I was just you know I was just I was just giving I was, I was giving our friend um, shit man. Y'all forgot your name, dog. Amra. Amra. Amaranth. I'll give Amaranth his. Uh, his... <laughs> and I'm getting. You know, I was just giving Amra that up. No, I'm I'm sober now. I wake up. Uh, what happened? What are we doing? You've been awake and had everything Ikana. explained to you already. Yeah, we're going to Econa. Let's go. We're I just gonna we leave. Sojourn onward. We we get right to it. Yeah, I mean, I pat, uh, the, I, I, I pat the, the elder on the shoulder. Thanks, I, buddy. For, for those that, that didn't see the last session, I try to I try to also ask him for money. He didn't give us any, so there's no more reason for us to be here, as far as I'm concerned. And by by me, I mean Amra. Can you pickpocket? I have sleight of hand. Can we, can we try to pickpocket? <laughs> You're trying to pickpocket a priest. Do you think he has in a that? holy temple? I'm just gonna point out the uh, the sacrilege. Yeah, yeah. Is this sac? Will we get in trouble? You know what? You you know what? Here, I, I, now nah, I'll, I'll I'll be I'll be I'm a good guy. <laughs> I mean, that's the, the guy, the mask man, though. That's true. We are pirates. Well, let us return back to the town right. at the very least, mm -hmm. and then uh, we'll figure out what direction Ikana is from there. I guess. Oh, you would know Let's Ikana's uh, about a week's uh, walk or like march to the east. Uh, it's southeast of here. You're essentially in like the middle of nowhere, yeah. Germany, and you're going to like the Greek coast equivalent of this world. Distances so, are a bit. I, uh, I, I, hold on, I need to see. I need to put this on. I need to see this in the real on the map. Like, don't. It, I'm not giving you real world distances. I'm just saying this is what the kind of area you're in in the world. This is like your relative location and the other well, places where you're trying to go. As we arrive back at the town and we're getting our bearings about what direction we're going to head off in, um, I turn towards uh, um, Jeddah and I'm like, Jeddah, looks like we're going mm. back, aren't we? Uh, yup. Can't show my face around there. What's your story? What? Wait, do do we do we know each other? We don't know each other's story yeah. around here, do we? No, like, like uh, me and you. The, the, the story is, and I'll explain this just so we can get it out the way. Our role playing here would take too long to explain it anyway. Um, prior to us coming to to here for the New Year celebration, uh, prior, prior, we, <laughs> we, <laughs> we uh. Sorry, I got jump scared. We had a part. Um, we we met at Ikana, and that's where I left my. Uh, that's where I left my my, my people, my my crew. Uh, 
the Red Brotherhood. I was like, oh, this is fine. Let's go wander off. Like, my bond to them isn't that great. Um, but they might potentially still be looking for me, or at the very least, like, they do have tendrils, even if the, the actual <clears throat> the actual ship isn't there. Um, they do have tendrils, like, within the underworld where people might be like, hey, Amber came back. You know, so yeah. And then also that's where Jeddah has a, a bounty on his head, and he can explain that if he wishes after this. But yeah. But uh, do I supposed to do this in character? So basically, my character, um, I so before becoming a pirate, I had a a crew called the Tetrad of Jacks, which is the the reason why we we're also called that is because with the four guys that uh, that was associated or were one, uh, his my best friends, and they're named Jace, Jet, and Joe. So we all says because everybody has the name starts with a J. I was like, all right, you know, they're they're like four of a kind. Um, what had to happen is that, uh, we started off as petty, th like just petty criminals and ended up, uh, doing like, you know, as, as we kind of, as our names kind of rose up in the ranks of the under, uh, of the underworld, we were able to, uh, you know, we we're getting into smuggling some contraband and we were caught one day and, uh, I was able to escape on a pirate ship and my buddies got caught and I was uh yeah and that's how i became a pirate so we're going back to the place where it all began where it all began but i have a bounty so so jenna um, is there any i mean so so, jenna, mm -hmm. so so ulrich do you have any dark mysterious past you care to share with us nothing i care to share uh uh i i bet this one has no past Sure. Yeah. Look, pretend I have amnesia or something. Says the guy. Says he says to the guy with actual amnesia. I was about to say like. <laughs> I, but, uh, like I, I do have a quick it. question. Mm -hmm. Yes. But, but, uh, is the music too loud or is it like? No, it's fine. Like, is it? It's fine. Okay. I, I just want to make sure it's not like louder than you guys. I, I also I also listened to the but, Twitch earlier, the the stream earlier on to make sure I, I was able to be heard, and everything sounds mm -hmm. fine. Cool. Okay. Good. Good. <clears throat> So I need a Anyhow. I need a disguise. So it does it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll just wrap my I tie my hair back more and put a you know just put my put my collar up. Mm -hmm. Everyone makes fun of Amara because he looks like night like a like a certain being that people call Nightwing, but more importantly, he does a have wing a mask. Of night. <laughs> he has a mask and a, and a cape and everything like that. So uh, I'm not a cape. But is it distinct? A, a cloak. So. Where are we? So we're heading east. Uh, we're heading yeah, east. Yeah. Are you, are you staying are you the night, east? or are you just heading off immediately? Still, I, I, uh, I would, I would, love, broken and I would love to fit in a long rest. Just a quick long rest. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Let's do a long rest. Yeah, just a I, quick I, I sort of like I'm, eight I'm, hours for a long rest. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, while he doesn't really have any money, he can give you uh, Elder Brandon Alvarado is at least willing to offer you uh, a stay in the Summer Wine Inn, which was where I believe. Uh, Ulrich was already staying. Yes, absolutely. I will take a free night. I will never turn down free thing. Mm -hmm. uh, plus uh, dinner for any... the night, which was. Do we have money? By the way, you have your starting money at least. Oh, I have the ten gold pieces, dude. I'm so broke. For uh, being a pirate. DM, while, while we're sort of mucking <laughs> around in town, could I could I grab some rations? Yes. Okay. I, I assume you're fine with me just sort of purchasing them for their cost. Yeah, I say that would be a. Uh, from Parlin, he's probably still has a stall going up because everyone in the town is just kind of blissfully unaware of what happened. Mm. Can I rob someone? Is there is there somebody who looks rich? I mean, there are a couple traders from the various like trading guilds here, just seeing if they can make a quick buck. I wouldn't really want to piss them mm. off if I were you, but hey, you piss off the was it the Red Blossom uh, Trading Company? <laughs> the Red Brotherhood. Oh, you mean you mean that's what they're called? Yes. Sorry. No, this it's is a completely a separate, yeah. like one of the major trading groups. Oh, so it's not good if we piss them off. Uh, well, they are said to dabble in assassination if needed as well. You piss them off at your own risk. They can't assassinate us if we killed them. Uh, they have outposts on every <laughs> continent, just every major city. Well, that just means more death along the way. 
<laughs> Body counts are going up. You know what? Uh, it's like, so, okay, we... So, they only got 10 gold pieces. I, I feel so poor. Yeah. Uh, That's a surprisingly yeah. high amount. Are we supposed to have gold? Yes. From your background. What's your background? Mm-hmm. You're a pirate. What, what's your background? Man? I know it... Worst comes worst, just assume you have, like, five gold on you. I don't have any gold. Then just give yourself you five gold. gold. Are you sure, dog? The DM I got, is telling you any. you have five. Okay, I have five gold, then. <laughs> but I really don't. Are you don't. ignoring us? Right. Uh, no, is there, is there like, kinda, one? There's only one? I... Yeah, you should, you should have gotten it for your background. I'm pretty sure we Manu, don't have go, dog. Wait, why do I have a flower with petals that will never wilt? Because manual. you picked that background manual. What is your background manual? Use your words. Answer the question I asked you. I don't know. Fey hostage, well, right? Man, manual's pirate. Are you, are you, and a, you have a pouch containing 10 gold manual. A, a flower with petals there. that will never wilt. A musical instrument, one of your choice. A set of fine clothes and a pouch containing 10 gold. Teamwork. Okay. It makes okay. the dream work. I swear Team to God, work. I swear to God, that did not get automatically included. So I'm mad at the game. I believe you. If only you had a set of eyes to read and double check things, Manuel. Yeah, I'm stupid. Anyways, let's move on. <laughs> so we go to sleep. We can we can we, okay. I'm gonna go to go. Is there like a certain shop or some track? Okay, I go to the traders. What do they have? I go in. I was like, well, they have. I want to uh, see what your way. Items uh, of uh, varying degrees. Some. Minor magical items that are probably out of your reach since you only have 10 gold at the moment. Uh, more common mm-hmm. supplies, weapons, uh, basic armor, shields. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're they not expecting to like offload their highest good stuff. This is basically knickknacks that they can sell for a, a big markup and some of the basics. Oh, what time is it? See. Probably uh, about 3 p.m. Oh, Dang, so- we got fucked up, dude. They fucked, up. They fucked us up early. <laughs> okay, so, so since it's still night and daytime out, we're obviously going to leave in the morning if we're going to sleep. Yeah. So I I, I want to sit by the pool and you you could you could you could uh, not the pool, but that fountain, yeah, or you know town square. I want to sit by there, pull out my flute, and start playing and see if anyone gives me money. Roll uh, performance for me. Yes. And I'll pretty much spend as much of my time doing this. Like, uh, hold on, let me find it. Hey, how do you have an instrument and I don't? I learned it from my fae people, presumably. I don't know how. <laughs> mm, see. 11. Learning an instrument isn't that unreasonable. Like, that's a normal person thing to do. The so fact as, that you have a fairy background in this magical world probably means it's very doable. <laughs> anyway, I rolled an 11. Did so, anyone give me any dollars? Gold yeah. dollars. Sorry, I, I have so many screens I'm looking at right now just to make sure everything's going well. It's... Oh, this one's the chat. But you do manage do to I... attract a small crowd. Most of them just seem like to be okay. using you to kill time. A couple of kids mm-hmm. seem to be enjoying it, but obviously they're not going to give you much money. Gold. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, quick question. Can I hear him like playing you, his music? Yes, you earn uh, two Just silver pieces. Style. Yay, silver. So I, I can hear him, right? Yeah. Like as I'm like, so I, I walk, I walk over to, to, as he's, as he's playing his little flute and I start, I, I'm just going to start singing. Uh, this mother is a wench. This playing is a, a stench. <laughs> I'll allow it. Oh god! Yeah, that's accurate. accurate. You that's you right. basically uh, caused the cl- crowd just to leave around him. You have basically just gotten him negative. Uh, I kinda, listeners, and I look and I smile. At, I smile at Am- it was Amra. I'm just like, <laughs> I earned nothing, but I won this one. <laughs> that's and a good got- one. <laughs> and then, all right. You know, I'm not going to go look for anything. I'm going to, uh, my, uh, Jetta's going to call it a day. We're just going to rest up. Where we, are we planning to leave tomorrow? The, yeah, the really next day? First light. Okay. First light or something. Yeah, something I, like I'm that. fine leaving at dawn, you know, five or six in the morning. Yeah. Mm. Actually, if you wanted to, like, okay. double check your routes, you'd probably 
a check with Victor, the old stargazer who's basically just the grumpy old man around here. Do, 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 do. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go meet up with this Victor. Like, um, Victor. Uh, well, actually, we yeah. don't know the route because we we just came from it. But I'll ask him anyway. Victor, do you happen to know any quicker routes to Ikana? We kind of have business there. I want to get there fast. Do what we got to do and leave. That depends. Uh, how, how much danger are you willing to put yourself in? Well, oh, as much true. danger as possible, and I throw my arms around both of them. Like <laughs> we live for danger. Danger's danger. our middle name. I look, I look over and it's just like, wow, oh, I have to get that run back from earlier t- today. I'll let you win that one, the Amra. Uh, so Amra kind of sighs. It's like that wasn't what he was going to say, but uh, I guess the dangerous route. All right. Well, if you're willing to venture off uh, uh, the way the gods of it, uh, you can cut through a forest. He might shave a day off. A whole day? Count us in. Yeah. I mean, wait, and gods goes around. a week, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. A week in this world okay. is six days, though. Oh, so five days. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. All right, boys. The it's... forest it is. Yeah. And he'll, like, give you, like, the sign, like, the landmarks you're supposed to look for. Mm. Okay. Uh, actually, okay, I'm going to continue. What's our, what's our landmarks that we're supposed to look for? I just assumed they were, like, generic forest landmarks, like, you yeah. know, the big rock. Oh, okay. I thought gnarled, you, like, a mountain. Tree, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Okay, I thought that it was like gonna be a role playing where he's just like, see that dead tree. And like, oh, no, 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 I'm not uh, that okay. big into travel for this campaign. Like, I might have you make okay. some roles when you're venturing into the unknown like this, but it's not going to be like, oh yeah, you're going through the lost woods. Uh, be prepared for that. At least that's not okay. for this. Part. Okay. Right. Oh, shit. Um, quick question. Can yes. I buy may, before we leave? Uh, may I? I just wanted to buy some more arrows. Yeah. Uh, that would you could probably get those from uh, Heat and Beat, uh, which is run by uh, Carlos's or sorry, uh, Brandon's brother Carlos and his wife. All right, so, awesome. I go yeah, into you, the shop. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as you walk into the shop, oh, yeah. you you see a sign mm-hmm. that says, uh, "In Darun we trust. All others pay coin." He's like, "Well," <laughs> and they just flick up, and just flipping my coin, like, "Well." Yeah. Uh, yeah, his. You, you see uh, mm-hmm. Carlos, who looks very much like his brother, but is a bit more like muscular, uh, like working that. And so his wife, this uh, much taller uh, half orc woman, comes up and asks you what what you'll have. I was like, um, do you guys have any arrows around here? Got plenty. Like she, how many do you need? It's like how much is plenty? Like. So can I ask how much is plenty? Hundred or so. Oh, and then how much? Let's go with. Uh, I'd say 20. it's probably. A, I don't know if there's a uh, designated price for them, but I'm going to say a copper and arrow. They're probably a copper is. and arrow. So okay, basically a penny uh, equivalent of to a gold. Because it's ten copper and a silver, ten silver and a gold. So it's like a dollar oh, an arrow. I have to pay two go. Okay. Yeah. Mmm. Do I want to spend? You know what? I'll I'll take twenty of them. That'll be two silver. Oh, oh man! Yeah, I, have think, I have to break it. I give. You have to break a gold. I have to break a gold. So I you have eight gold. silver now. Yeah, I have a question about currency. Yes, there's yeah. a universal currency. Electrum, or are you a higher being? Uh. I throw in an Electrum occasionally, but it's basically an old currency that doesn't see much use. Ah, it's, so you're a higher being. Got it. Yes. It's from the days of the uh, Gaian Empire. So not oh, something I need to report is what I'm hearing. Not, not, not until you start raiding tombs. Fair enough. Okay. To the east it is, my friends. I don't know why I keep changing my voice. What voice give me an amra. To the east. After a long night's rest, I guess technically four hours for you because you're elves, but. Uh, DM, I do have something to do in the morning before we leave, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, Right before we leave, I'm talking like they're packed up, ready to go, like standing at the edge of the village. 
Uh, I find the nearest woman I was wooing the night before, before they got into some debauchery. Okay. Uh, I, I go steal flowers out of someone's nice garden. Um, just sort of when they're not looking, just bring those back. Uh, and, and give her a bouquet and just say, you know, I have to go, but I'll leave you with this. Uh, and you know, if she looks Take away, she, flower. If, if she, if she looks away coyly, you know, I'm, I'm going to like put a finger under her chin, like lift it up so that she meets my eyes and just go, Ooh. that's my girl. And I fucking leave. I feel, I leave like a goblin in the night. She never sees me ever again. <laughs> Persuasion with advantage. You got it. He... Dang. This is, this is probably going to go terribly. Oh, that's not bad. It could go no, great. That's, 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 that's not too bad. 18. It could have gone she, better for a charisma based like, character. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Uh, you, you like look back and you, she does seem to be looking with a little bit of long, but like uh, this too will pass kind of look. Like she might get over you within the year, but. That's fine. I'm long. terrified of commitment as we've established. I leave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, uh, you also just so see her looking at these flowers like, wait, I've seen these before. Her <laughs> neighbor's flowers. <laughs> it's flowers from her house. <laughs> <laughs> you better believe I don't know where she lives. I didn't check. <laughs> oh my god! So this is you. So you went on your little your little adventure. Yeah, I sprint back well, to you guys. I'm ready to go. I've got all my little cool. things in my backpack. I'm ready. I'm ready to. I'm ready to leave. Yeah, where'd I'll you leave. go? It's impossible to say. I call myself Alvik. Amor ponders his flower that will never wilt as he walks east. And Kor is obviously with you as well. He's just Pletus in here, so he's silent this episode. Yeah, he, he's just... Uh, he, Uncharacteristically <laughs> silent. Exactly. They're very thankfully silent. <laughs> but it's okay. He's too interested in everything else to actually be saying anything. Yes. All right. I guess we, we sojourn on. Let us know if... Uh... Anything happens or whatever. Yeah, let us know what terrible, terrible, terrible thing befalls us in about five Eek. seconds. <laughs> yeah, just to be clear, we are we are engaging with that for a shortcut. Yeah, you are. I will do whatever right. I have to do to gaslight these men into going deep into the forest okay, unreasonable. Manuel, so I understand. So, Manuel, you have the dying flower. I have a lucky charm. It's a lucky you can be whatever. It oh, can right, be. I can say that right. A flower, or it can it can be whatever you want it to be, as long as it's like a non magical object. It's just some memento uh, you have that's a lucky charm. Oh, oh, you know what? It, it could very well be like a, per a piece of your like first uh, pirate flag or something. Or it's a coin oh, you all you split in half. I, I, you know, I actually, I, I... Okay, I know my lucky charm is a, is is the Jack of Spades card. Okay. It's all like, you know, crum that kind of crumpled, but just like the edges. Yeah. Are, it looks like it's been uh, worn. So, okay, all right, let's continue. Worn. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so yes uh, I look at it before I uh, do uh, as Victor described to you uh, like the first day is just basically getting out of the mountain range that surrounds uh, Arizel so you're following uh, what's called the path of the or the way of the gods it's essentially like a very long road that connects like all the major cities with the temple of Favel uh, in the far east is this a pilgrimage that people typically make uh no, but it was designed for people to make that pilgrimage and to okay. make the uh, travel between cities easier. If, okay. if, I didn't you know, know if we like, would look weird if like we weren't praying at every altar or something, like if we were be disgracing gods or something. No, uh, if you okay. basically know California, it's what uh, El Camino Real, which is essentially a setup to move between missions on a, like a day by day basis. Yeah. It's essentially a similar like thing that's been set up. There's supposed to be like somewhere within a day's walk that you can stay. Mm. Just like Calabasas. Yeah, I, I, I got it. Yeah. I got it. And so, like, uh, the end of the first day is in a town that's known as uh, Nullum. N-U-L-A-M. Sorry, N-A-L-U-M. Okay. Actually, it's a very, like, small settlement, but there are people there who, like, welcome you. Like, if you're willing to pitch in a little work, they're willing to let you, like, sleep in their farm for the night. I'm fine, you know, b b figuring out a camping situation. But if you guys want, we can uh, maybe maybe worm our way into a a night stay in the barn or something. Yeah, we'll turn on the charm with the the farmers. Like, like, hey, <laughs> I don't remember the barn? Really fucking charmed them. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay, I'm assuming. 
uh, Ulrich is going to be the face of that. So if you're trying to help him, he can roll persuasion with advantage again. Sure, sure. I, I, I will. I will, of course, be like, you know, over his shoulder at most times to to sort of pick him up where he falls, you know. <laughs> or if he says something hellacious, maybe maybe correct him or speak over him or something. We are looking for lodging, and we would like to sleep in your barn. <laughs> so persuasion, hold on, persuasion. With advantage. Advantage. Wait, did I hit it? You did. Yes, oh, I did. It's there. Okay, you're good. Fifteen. If you're, willing to, if you're willing to work, I got. I can make space for you. Work? What? what what's the work? And th that was me changing my demeanor, by the way. Tyler. Yes, I, I <laughs> <laughs> got animals that need to brought in a couple crops that need reaping. Sound good to you? We're the men for the job. Sorry, wood that needs chopping. He just like keeps adding on like minor things. We got a wood chopper right here, and I put my arm around Core. <laughs> he's the size of a log, so if you think about it, he's in his element. Okay. <laughs> and I guess I'll do some reaping. I I've Is never wrangled animals do? better in my entire life than this day. I will of course I will of course take care of the animal wrangling. So. Yes, I, I guess we're doing chores. Also, I, I want to point out that Amor is, once again, even though he was willing to sleep in the barn, he was not willing to work for it, so he just looked exasperated, just going along with whatever Ulrich's saying. But do you think they're just going to let you stay for free in their house, Manuel? Yes. They don't know you. You just wandered in town and said, hey. Ulrich has just heard the term farmer's daughter enough times that he was in the second a farmer approached him, you know? <laughs> Okay. He's so, no bard, um, but he's a bit he's he's a bit of a he's a bit of a rascal, you know. Can we sleep here now? We did their chores. Yeah, like, yes, you will go words. about doing your chores. Like uh, as you're doing it and like uh seeing other people in town, you do hear strange whispers about a figure named Mama Maggie. You're not entirely sure what that is on about, but I, I, I would inquire about it if I if I like overhear yeah. someone talking. I'm, I'm, you know, of course we're all shirtless and sweaty and like glistening in the moonlight or whatever as the sun's <laughs> starting to set. You know, I walk over with like all like a horse that's perfectly tamed or whatever the fuck you let me get away with. <laughs> and uh, roll animal like, handling. Mama, uh, Mama Maggie, is there is there a Maggie or something? What what, what is that? Uh, first roll animal handling for that horse. What? Roll animal handling to see how well you're actually. Ooh, wish you wouldn't have picked animal handling. Maybe some sort of persuasion, perhaps. <laughs> you never oh mind. God. Oh my god! What, what are we drinking to? There we go. Ah, uh, what are we drinking Ooh. to? Hmm. You know what? To, to, to all the comrades who couldn't quite make it tonight because they are away doing real life things, th thank you. We we appreciate you, and we hope to see you the next time. There we go, comrades. So yes, Man, you are basically Prince Charming comrade, riding that gotta, stallion. You enunciate. Wait, what? I said comrades. <laughs> yeah, you you gotta enunciate. Comrade. You gotta just say stuff that ain't too close to comrades <laughs> these days. That's that's not. You gotta you gotta try a little harder, bud. Comrades. Anyway, Sorry. so uh, I'll, I'll inquire about I'll inquire about this uh, this mama this 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 big mama. Yes, uh, like yeah, uh, they'll give you a brief explanation that she's just like an old lady who lives uh, oh. out. Like a bit outside of town, but uh, everyone like goes to her when they need uh, something resolved. I see. Like resolved how? Oh, you know, uh, me medical things. Uh, okay. Things of a less bit of a savory woman. nature sometimes. That's about all. They'll, they'll they'll just kind of if you try and inquire further, they're just kind of clamped is, up. Is she is she keen on visitors? Perhaps is anyone willing to inquire about needing medical assistance? Yeah, as long as you're willing to pay the price. I see. Uh, before uh, before Ulrich gets any ideas, Amber's like, uh, Ulrich, I think we're going to just sleep and keep going east. All right. That's fine, I suppose. Uh, a Amber, who, by the way, is also glistening with sweat and looking all like, you know, the buff piece of me yes, he is. Yeah, we've all got like eight packs and stuff. <laughs> yeah, we're really pretty. Mask, eight pack, huh? Eight pack. But he he bows to like you know not bows but like you know a formal curtsy type bow yeah. to like Kowtow. the 
that's the yeah you know to the Wait. to the farmer and that's even more of a foul play. Uh, say count out when you put your forehead that's, on the that's floor, even deeper it? that's like where you put like like that's where you're like doing martial arts you put like your fist in your open palm and you you do a deep bow a 90 degree bow exactly <laughs> to, to, the barn with us. Mm-hmm. to the barn with us yeah i guess well i guess we'll go sleep <laughs> off tonight how many daughters does this farmer have uh probably two uh but oh. there are it, well hold on before you say wait, before you say wait, oh wait wait i gotta hear the offers i don't want to they're not like they're not like 10 are they did i just yeah that, 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 that's what i'm that, that that's where... uh they are they're they're not they're like 16 and 17 uh well i'm oh. out of here nope yeah no no, no. We, we we ain't getting no uh <laughs> no fantasy police after us so he, just... are you over here is, is he saying this out loud i'm just like Wiping oh, off the, my sweat. Yeah, we just like ah. <laughs> I, I, t- I take back the, the 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 curtsy bow I did to the fucking farmer's fine, but I take back my you know miss. Okay, like, like, he wasn't talking to either of the daughters. He was just kind of like out, and there were two other like village ladies who were obviously much older, like mid thirties, mm-hmm. talking. Oh okay. No, I mean. I, I yes, but we're done with that. I, yes. I just wanted to go to sleep, and I was yeah. going to invite the daughters to the barn, but I ain't going to jail, so let's just go to sleep. Okay. <laughs> hey, you're lucky guns aren't widespread, so he doesn't have a shotgun yet. Hey, a valid D and D excuse is that you, you'd be you'd end up with the dad coming in and be like, "Okay, so here's my dowry," because of course you're both getting married, <laughs> and uh, so of course you'll be inheriting the farm, and here's all the things that come along with working a farm, which I'm sure you love, and here's all the debt I've accrued to. Uh, yeah, here's Mama all the Maggie. debt I've accrued to everyone ever. You will, of course, be inheriting that as well. But don't worry, your dowry is a blanket and this goat. <laughs> okay, oh, dang, that sucks. How many horses? At least you get to plow they... something. How many? <laughs> he has two, basically, just for plowing and maybe riding around if he needs to head into another town oh, to never get something. Yeah, we're just... No, you're not head hiring back horses off this manual. We'll, we'll see what the next town slash encounter has for us. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to steal their horses. Anyway. I don't steal horses. We can afford oh, horses. We can. Do they hang people we, for that anyway? <laughs> we can we afford horses. You don't need a horse. We the way you down. We can't get hanged if we don't get caught. <laughs> it does have a point. You know, I know a horse. Okay. He knows. Wait, do you have horses? Sorry, it's a real question. He, he's been I, tending I to the he's... horses all day at the farm. Yeah, first anyway. of all, I know a horse in, in in it like I know someone who is part I don't know, steed. We we'll, we we'll meet oh, him eventually, oh. don't worry. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we, we thought... need to watch his feet anyway. You'll meet him eventually. Uh, you'll you'll hear him come clip clopping in at the worst time possible, I assure you. <laughs> sleep, sleep, sleep. Yes. Uh, you you, you two will go there trance for four hours because you're elves while How and Kor or Ulrich and Kor are sleeping. Yeah, I assume I don't trance, right? Because I'm just half elves. Yeah, I don't think so. I do, it, right? It's full elves that uh, trance, not half elves. Okay, just making sure. Mm-hmm. Can I? Can I? Like, can I? Can I? Can I just look normal sleeping? I'm just in lay and the hay and just put my hat over my face. <laughs> but oh, that you works. really. You're really can that like be just my trance? half asleep, uh, connecting with the spirits, the elf like ancestors, in the greater like cosmic web of things. Got it. Same for right. Amra. We 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 sojourn on after our sleep. How does yeah. it go? And so about halfway through uh, the journey that next day is where like Victor told you to get off. You see like this rock that's splitting the road in two. Okay. And you know mm-hmm. to go like south from there. You don't take either of the forks. You go straight south. Okay. Yeah, we, we cut straight into the woods. We go south. Yeah, uh, I'm going to need a uh, survival check guys. from We're one of you. Type of guys. Yeah. Survival. Let's see who has the... You know what? I'll do the survival check. Of course. You're, you you are our expert navigator. Our expert right. navigator. Dirty 20. Yeah. Uh, yes, you are able to keep well on the path. That He's obviously not been down here for some years, so... Trees that were there aren't there anymore, but like the major landmarks that he described, you're eventually able to find without any problem. So you are on pace at this point to make it by day five. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. See that mountain over there? 
No. Yeah. <laughs> As you said, no. I think we. Oh, think over there. We, yes. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're right. And I, and I that just, mountain that wasn't there. Point. Yes. I, I notice if I look in the direction you're pointing, I will see <laughs> what you're right in. there. And I just and it's like I was like it's it's the one that looks that has a that's a, a a really sharp tip. Cartoonish so, though, yes. So I'm just like, it is that one right there? That that's that's our landmark. He's he's I think we're on time. I mean we're we're making we're we're I don't know in good stride. I have no idea. Yeah. Let's, Plus, let's, uh, keep, let's keep going. You are able to find like some amount of like food from gathering for yourself with that. So Ooh. it's not like the Ooh. finest quality, but it's it will get you through the day. Okay. It's, it's berries and a rabbit. I bet. Basically, Luckily, mm. I bought rations before we left because I'm a smart little boy. Are so you don't eat too much, or just make people. sure you get something else than rabbit. You need that to survive. We, we need oh, rabbit. Yeah, need... You need is other protein. Rabbit is so okay. lean that you can't like live off it entirely. Okay, you know what? I go out hunting. What do I find? What's the thing that? Uh, I that's gonna be another buy? survival check. Hell yeah, let's do it. We need. You say we need more protein. We can't be eating rabbits. Mm-hmm. Raw, uh, you know, out of, out of character. I'm close. I'm playing a druid in another campaign, and I'm so used to going. Oh, DM, can I give him guidance every fucking check? It's so <laughs> unnatural to me to not be like, oh, DM, can I do this? Yeah, uh, right. you, you are you able to can. find like. I'm trying to think, what what would you actually be able to use in this time? That's not a just deer? a rabbit. But yeah, but like a deer. But you're, and you can prepare pieces of it. I doubt you'll be able to like eat all of it, or if you want to carry all of it. Yeah, board. I don't think the three of us could eat an entire deer in yeah. one sitting for sure. I, I don't think we there's just enough to go time back to the, the day. Yeah. yeah, you'll like take it, you'll take out, you'll like uh, butcher it for the parts you need and then toss it somewhere away from you so things don't come looking yeah, for, for sure. you in the middle of the night. So, you, so we did, so I did that. Yes. Wait, what, what did I kill? A deer. A deer? Oh, a deer, okay. So I, I, I grab, I chop off the I, I actually, so you, you know how we're throwing the food, like we're throwing the, yeah. some parts away. Yeah, I get, I get the balls at night, and night, and I just, I, I toss it over to, I, I, I try to, to chuck it over at, uh, at, at Amra's way, like uh, roll at, uh, at, at his, at his thigh. As, roll as if to allow him to eat it. What, what, like to what end? Like <laughs> I think he's just trying to hit him with it. I'm trying to throw his his. I'm trying to tell his testicles at. Ah, yes. Yeah, you're so you're gonna to try to raz him, as we say in the industry. Like just, you're going to raz him. Yes. yes. Yeah, I'm gonna raz him. I guess. Uh, make so a ranged attack roll. So that's gonna be dexterity. <laughs> I th- you're not proficient with this, so it's just gonna be dexterity. Yeah, just just a d20 plus your dex. Plus my dex mod. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> so slash roll. Uh, one. D20. Easy. 20 plus 3. 3? You don't have right, 10. Uh, Amra, you see him, like, start tossing something at you, but you kind of, like, realize what he's about to do. You duck out of the way. It just, like, flies past you and hits core in the face, like, as it arcs oh. downward. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, I'm sorry, man. That was supposed to hit, that was supposed to hit Amra. He needs yeah. see some of that because he has no balls. <laughs> Sorry. I had a response that took it away from me. Um, I look back to it, Ulrich, like, pardon my friend. He's very, he's very vulgar and rude. He, he's not as, uh, he's, he doesn't come from as fine stock as us. And laughing over here. You two are fairly <laughs> identical. You, you two are sort of from the same, you're cut, you're cut from the same cloth, you know? <laughs> Not in a bad way, of course. Exactly. Well, like you can't tell, Amr changes his mood a lot. He's very confused of who he is. Right now, he's the haughty, uh, haughty, you know, with, with you know, a GH. Yes. Um, like you know, elf prince type mode. <laughs> I see. So, yes. Oh, what happened to what happened to all of our uh, all of our competition? All of a sudden, it's beneath me at the moment. <laughs> he, he's cur- He currently thinks he's one up on you. Yeah, I still am one up. Yeah, yeah as far as I'm up. concerned, he's he dodged it, so he's one up. Yeah, um, that's one for me. And let's not forget who 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 actually survived that goblin encounter. Yeah, just to be clear, I'm definitely keeping track on this <laughs> piece of paper that you can't see right here. I, <laughs> I have all the, the points right here. The hallway. Anyway, I let you win so, that one. Okay, continue. 
<laughs> Let's continue on the route with our deer and with that deer after the deer. So yes, once again, uh, the next <laughs> night will pass uh, without any uh, seeming uh, interruptions. I'm going to need another survival check for the next day. It can be from any one of you. I'll take the lead because yeah. uh, I feel that uh, what's his name? Uh, Jedi was, was, was fooling around too much. It's wearing off, but uh, I'm still in the Elf Prince mode. Hold on, let me find it. Oh, God, I have no proficiency in this at all. Why, yeah, why, I actually have proficiency in it. Uh, Oops. Wait. Sorry. Ten. Man just really at disadvantage. Yeah. <laughs> so after about, uh, let's say, half the day, you realize you've been going in, like, kind of the wrong direction. <laughs> uh, like, not, you haven't idea. gone totally so, backwards, but you are, like... Uh -huh maybe a quarter of a day off by now, but you're able to uh, reroute yourself. So you're at least maybe like three hours behind at this point. Okay. okay. I, I turned over. I knew I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't have let you lead us. I say you, like you know the way anybody. you have a general idea of where you're supposed to be, but you've kind of lost sight of a few landmarks. Right. I, I said that mountain over today, there right? is now a mountain over here. <laughs> I've said it this whole time. The melons now has transitioned over from the right, from in front of us to the left of us. <laughs> anyway, right. DM, where, where do we find to bed for the night? Uh, it's going to be like a very, I guess, do you want to do like a clearing or do you want to do something where it's a bit rougher so that you have like protection against anything that might be coming for you at the in the night? Oh, I, I am, I am a pillow princess. I need a clearing. I need, yeah, I, I need, need like a, a decent area also. to sleep. Yeah, actually, this is still like wide for so you can find a clearing between some of the trees. You're just Perfect. unsure if like if anything were to come for you in the night, it would probably uh, have a very good line of sight for you. And, be very difficult to like escape onto higher ground or something from this area. Perfect. That means I have a line of sight to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. No, no one hides. It's very confident, you see. Overly so. My <laughs> hubris will be my downfall one day. One day. So I guess we're but setting up for a camp. Tonight? We're setting up, yeah. bros. Let's go. So we set up in the clearing. Um, I just assume, things. given that you guys are in trances, you just kind of take turns taking watch. Yeah, and me, well, me and Core sort of sleep like normal people. I, I mean, I mean, not normal, just you know, like average people, uh, not average, racist. like um, you know, just like humans. That's racist. Like anything that yeah, that's why I stopped. That's why I corrected myself twice. Non elves so who don't trance. What do you think we are, goblins? Anyway, no, I think you're elves. <laughs> I think you are a completely different species than me. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so my head over you're my half face. elf. Yeah, that's different. I'm half. Oh, we were gonna have manual. Just no I'm, drop it. I'm all the good parts. Oh my He's god! Like, I don't know about anyway. you guys, so, but I'm not taking first watch. And okay, uh, Amra, I'm, I'm gonna need you to roll face. perception for your first watch. Oh my god! <laughs> like I was just fell asleep around. All right, hey, Amra, chop chop. Put my chop chop behind my head. Oh, oh nice. Mm -hmm. So I was awake and noticed like everything. Mm -hmm. Maybe. You notice that like Maybe some start. animals are wondering what's going on out here. You, you see like wolves or something that off in the distance that seem to be like wondering, is this prey that we can get at? But like as they move closer, they see like you, the fire, and they start to get a bit scared and they just kind of like run off at that point. Yep. Big man scary. And then I wake up... Um, and fire. No, don't forget, fire. Ah, uh, fire too. So then I wake up, Jetta. I'm like, Jetta, it's your turn. I scared away ten wolves while you were asleep. It was two. <laughs> I scared away ten wolves. Let's see if you can do better. You know, two, ten, so it's it, impossible to say. Yeah, it's impossible to say. He's just counting in binary. It, exactly. Is there, is there, like... And I probably lift up my hat and say, like, ah, stop lying. I put my hat back on. No, it's, <laughs> your, it's your watch. You're done. You're it's done. Okay. I lay down and I and I do. Why well, don't lay down? I, I I trance normally. I just sit down and like zone. <laughs> but like I put I put my hat back on. I kind of fit it, wipe my eyes, and I as I see Amra about to. He, he looks like he's trancing. I kind of nudge him on. Uh, oops! <laughs> and I kind of 
<laughs> oh, sorry, buddy. And I kind of just fix my head a little bit. And then, all right. So I'm on my second. I'm on. I'm second watch. Yeah, Let's and I'm gonna need down. you to roll perception as well. All right. Is this gonna be the first one of the night, boys? He's gonna make us fight wolves. What a Dire weird wolves. thing to to proceed your roll with. Yeah, <laughs> no, this is you're just asking to jinx your roll. Eighteen. Oh, that wasn't bad actually. <laughs> what do I see? Yeah, the end, at, or at some point n- around dawn, maybe like an hour before, uh, you mm-hmm. s- you see Core like start walking off. You assume he's just like woken up because he needs to go to the bathroom. Uh, but he's not up by, th- or he's not back by the time everyone else wakes up. Wait. Uh. What? Yeah, he kind of walked off and uh, never came back. Um. Look, we already lost time because because Jetta didn't point out the mountain to me when I needed to know it. <laughs> so, so we really hey, can't waste time. Looking I give for- you. I trusted you for a little bit, and this is what we this is what we got. Lost for a little bit, and now we have to sleep out in the wilderness. Oh, you're going to do that anyway. You aren't going to make it through the wilderness for another day, at least. So I, and I'm, I'm just like to... just bullshitting. Wait, so core has gone. I was just like, well, yeah, he, you know, he's, he's just he's wandered off somewhere. Okay, I was like, he's a he's a grown person, and he. he Eventually, he'll he'll come back. I, I, he he and wandered I kind of, off. He'll I, wander I, back, of course. Yes. I, I kind of struggle, and I just like, and I, I look so unsure. But I'm just saying, like, he's an adult. All right. Did we'll see him in the next spot. Do you happen to see where Cor went? Uh, let me consult my, uh, my 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 inner thoughts here. DM, did I see where he went? You were asleep. Okay. Yeah, I, I like how you're asking. Uh, I, 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 I'm Continue. sort of rubbing my temples. I don't recall where he would have wandered off to, but I'm sure he had a good reason to, of course. And and so I turn I turn back to Jetta. I'm like, Jetta, make yourself useful. And then we, we both start looking on the floor. Can, can we try to like track him? Yeah, uh, if you're all working towards it, uh, one of you roll perception with advantage just so we don't have everyone rolling. Who has the good perception? I have plus four. You do it, advantage. So, so as you're as you're ask, as I'm sitting here, I'm, as I'm sitting here looking at you, asking, like, uh, fuck, what, how, what, what was your character's name again? What Amra? No, not you. Wow. Oh, Ulrich. Ulrich. Like Lars Ulrich. Ulrich. Like, Ulrich. Like, Ulrich. Ask, look at the bottom like, there where it has like, all our names. It has all oh, our I names. Right here. Oh, our real names. I was like, how, why are you asking Ulrich when I was the one that saw him go? I don't is know. Look, be... Let's just look for him. I, I mean, likely because I'm some sort of... All right, like, double what, 19, what boys. This, is, this is the double shot, by the way. I'm just kidding. <laughs> double wow. No, I'm just kidding. That was close. That was so yeah. close. <laughs> Damn it. So, yes. All right. uh, I pick uh, I pick the right one. <laughs> yeah. It's the right 23. Uh, like, he's light, so he doesn't leave that deep of footprints, but this soil is, like, soft enough that you're able to, like, find it, and you, like, start following it up it goes on for like it seems like he never stopped walking for some reason. Oh my god! An interesting choice. Yeah. Yes. I, 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 so I, I turned over. I was just like, Amra, I told you he, we're gonna find him eventually. He, he, he I think he could take care of himself. Yeah. Uh, I like, nah, I just, I shrug. I'm like, yeah. You know, we he, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see him in in I I, I canna. Is that I, is that Ikena or I can I Ikana. 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 We'll, yeah. we'll we'll see him in. He kind of don't, don't look. He, he's walking. The, I mean, is he walking the right direction? By the way, vaguely. He, he's kind. Of, maybe we should follow his footsteps. <laughs> We're gonna I, follow. I, I, say, I say. I say. Maybe we should follow his footsteps. Survival man, the one that God is kind of. You know, he's a half. It seems, he's it than it seems like he knows what he's head. doing. <sighs> it seems like he. I, I... I turn towards so Ulrich. Just, I'm like, Ulrich, do you <laughs> want to keep looking for Kor or do you say we leave him too? I say we sojourn on because I believe he had a good reason to wander off. Fine. fine. Maybe, and this is just me guessing, he really had to use the bathroom. 
<laughs> he's afraid to pee in front of I, I'm, I'm I'm covertly saying he had to do a big stinky two. <laughs> but it's embarrassing, so I will not say that out loud. <laughs> right, well, let us continue on towards Ikana. We sojourn onward. Okay, uh, since you're still a bit lost, uh, whoever's rolling is rolling a, a survival with disadvantage. I'll do it this time. <laughs> Me, oh, I the survivor. You dog. I fucking believe in you. Me, oh, the God. survivor, <laughs> known for my tracking abilities and my 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 keen intellect. Really so yes, so, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm sitting you? here and I'm just like uh, I'm just like. Why am I letting you guys? I, I rub this? my temples. I consult my patron. I say, patron, to which direction should I go? And then I just sort of point in any direction that sort of takes me, and I go, that is the way, without waiting for a response. <laughs> so yes, uh, following Ulrich, who's going by his intuition through this, uh, you uh, you can tell you're going in. You're going east-ish. You're just unsure whether you're going Ish. north or south. There's a hundred and eighty degrees now. Now. Okay, I'm operating within now. that parameter. Yes. Okay. We are You're... technically technically moving in what could be discerned as the correct direction. And it seems weird. Like uh the forest, you wouldn't expect it, like on the maps, you wouldn't expect it to start giving way. Like it starts clearing out as if oh. the forest is about to end. Even like if you looked at the maps, this thing is supposed to be a continuous forest, basically. Ooh. Uh from uh well, we Nalem uh to like just a, a day outside of, yeah, uh, but Econa. of course, by, by, by my keen skills, we were able to get through much faster. Of course, no, uh, <laughs> that is the, that is why the clearing has appeared. Of course, so, uh, so as as he's saying that, I point at the mountain, which is now on the opposite side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, ah, you... the mountain. You are correct, sir. It would seem the mountain <laughs> is our guide from now on, due to, due to your. Due to your keen intellect, <laughs> I will refer to the mountain as my guide. Uh, You're a bit of a you, mountain man. Has anyone told you that? But you, <laughs> what the hell is happening? Uh, I, I, like as you continue walking in this direction, mm -hmm. uh, you, like as the forest kind of like uh, starts to recede, you do notice that there's mm -hmm. signs of like people living here. Like civilization has actually set up oh. somewhere in this forest that is not really marked it, on any of the maps you've seen. It would seem I've led us to a delightful place. To seek respite and rest, as is my is... as is my patron given right to do so. Mm -hmm. Like it, it takes on a much more rocky terrain. Like there are still trees here, and some that are even like bigger than the ones that you. You think it's weird that you haven't seen them like through like the treetops, but these giant yeah, I, trees. I, I, are... I like I like lean down, like pick one up, and I like sort of sniff it and give it a very quick taste, and I go yes. It seem we've entered some sort of rocky terrain. Yeah, with giant trees that are still somehow <laughs> growing road. out of the ground. But some, you some do, sort of uh, road, but what is rocky? Uh, you do actually find a core, though. Oh, oh, delightful. Is he alive? Yeah, is he yes, alive? He's... Not yeah. that we would assume he's dead. Not that we would do that. Yes, uh, he is alive. He alive? Uh, let me try. He's a little bit the... of a rascal. Uh, that wild core. This place is gorgeous. Yes, uh, you oh, uh, you start to uh, trying to think who uh, who am I talking to? Uh, Ulrich and Amra. Mm -hmm. You start to like as you approach the scene. You start to feel a weird sensation, like a tingling uh, that you can't really describe. Uh, you're coming in uh, from the other way. You're coming in from the west on this, so you're on the left side of this. Oh. You're basically on the other side of the bridge at this point. Uh, yeah, right there. You know, you guys know about, about a guy named Bridge. And I feel a like tingling. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we walk in like, like something is both wrong and right with this place, but you can't really tell what it is. Hey, that's sometimes going to the uh, uh, D DM. Do I detect anything with my with my divinely magical Detecting... sight at all? Uh, any sort of any sort of in magics about? Weirdly, it's less that there's magic and more the seeing like lack of it in this area. Okay. Like also, I'm, is... I'm just linking this for the people at home, just so yeah. they know what Detect Magic does. Yeah. Like, it feels more like uh, like the background magic feel that this world kind of has is, for some reason, not there in this area. 
And oh, there, I step forward a bit. You oh, see, sorry. Uh, like, you were sorry. Uh, core, small as he is, next to this like giant of a man who looks at least like eight feet tall. Okay, uh, they're standing at something that look do. in front of something that looks like a mushroom. As like Core's just kind of sniffing it, and oh, then uh, like, he's in psychedelics. I, I, I will try to cross the bridge and just say, "Oh, Core, my deepest, oldest friend. It no. would seem we've located you." He did what I regretted. I don't. Oh my god! <laughs> well, I, I crossed the bridge. No hesitation. Yeah. Okay. Uh, like, but as he's like uh, sniffing this, uh, mm. you see, you see that uh, the like plant in front of him seems to release like these purple uh, spores. Oh. He takes a big whiff of them and he just like conks out immediately. Oh no! Oh, oh. My god! Is he dead? No, he got sleep powdered. Yes, he got sleep oh, he, powdered. He got hit by sleep powder. And you just see like the oh, yeah. giant man. Like, oh, 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 oh no! Uh, as like okay. this, the thing in front of him awakens. Oh, uh, like like the spell awaken? No, like okay, it, there's, okay, like, there's thank a creature God. Okay. beneath okay. it. Okay, we're good. It's like we're good. he's at the we're top good. of a Paris, essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The poke flute. Are we fighting a a thing? Oh shit! Oh, we're fighting impossible. a lot of things. It's impossible. At least the Mothman. And his homies. The moth oh, boys. What, what, am I, what, what, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Is the giant it's good? Like do, we, do we shoot him too? Yeah, and would you he, perhaps like to click on our characters and roll for the too? Click on our characters? Uh, give me a second. To? Let me clear okay, the... I'll, gi I'll give you two. I'll give you three, maybe. Okay. Oh, he does want us to. No. Yes, I please roll for to. initiative. Uh, I'm assuming you're going to fight it. these things. No, I'm gonna leave. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take care of them. Don't worry. Don't you worry about that. Bye, Core. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> yeah, bad news, please. You died off screen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I, I am not that terrible. Wait, how do you roll initiative? Uh, you click on your character, and then oh, you God, click on I'm your character stupid. sheet initiative. Yeah, ignore me. I didn't say that. Manual, no, 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 no. You were asking because you wanted to. You you were playing up that like you're a person at home who might not have used roll twenty to its fullest extent yet. To be fair, like um, how made me make that uh the thing in the other game the shortcut, and I haven't had to click it like in months. Yeah, I'm just sort of like a genius or whatever, you know, <laughs> sort of whatever they whatever they'd call that. If, if I just drag that to 17. the bottom, will it make that shortcut again? Yes, if you drag initiative to the bottom of your character sheet, it'll make a little shortcut for you. I would rename it, though, because sometimes it names it something weird. Hold on. Let me okay, go. I'm just waiting for Amra to give us his. I did. It's already oh, there. cool. Yeah, I think he's all there. Yeah, I'm, or, just, I'm, just, I'm just making my shortcut. Uh, I don't see second. where's... Uh, hey. I don't see uh, oh, Jetta on here. It's Warren. No, yeah, that was me. I was I was click on your to token. My I was trying to... Oh, uh huh. I like how oh, someone he, he must have rolled without clicking on his character. Yeah, I'm guessing. seventeen, seventeen. Oh. Okay, I can fix it. Yeah, seventeen. Yeah, I got 17, it. An exact calculation. Descending order. Cool. So it's this. Uh, first in order is this a like, creature that you just seen like pop up out of this mushroom, mm -hmm. and it just starts like trying to like latch on and like suck out something from core. Gross. Oh no, he's the throat goat. I don't think he has a discernible throat. <laughs> then, like this small, like little creature, just like kind of pops out and starts kind of like uh, trying to annoy the or like pester with the giant man you see. Ulrich, you're first up. Um, I'm going to try to cast as my action fairy fire. Uh, I would like to center it such that I hit the three on the right here uh, okay. without hitting anyone else. Okay. Uh, oh, that so is deck saving. I'll just link it for the chat at home. So they need some deck saving throws and have to beat 13. They have to get 13 or higher. So I'm the first one of these fey creatures mm -hmm. is fairy fired. What color is your fairy fire? Uh, mine. Let's see. What's my color? Uh, light blue. The second one saves. Now for the okay. bigger creature. Maybe low. Wow. Kind of low. Yes. Also gets covered in your fairy fire. 
Cool. Uh, after oh, that, I, I will I will back up and let, of course, let my comrades have plenty of room to do what they will uh, to these creatures that they now have advantage attacking. Oh, so they're like hurt. Oh, we yes. have advantage no. now. No, no, but if you attack those two, my my fairy fire makes it so that you are able to get advantage when you attack them. Okay, is it me? Oh, it's not me. Sorry. Yeah, no, it's Sorry. your turn. I moved on. Well, it is me. Yes, I'm gonna shoot this big one over here, trying to give the suck to our friend. Okay. I'm trying to give the suck. <laughs> what a hero! My longbow. All right. What a hero! So we, yes, we had advantage on, on attack. Yes. Yeah, you have advantage on attack. Yep. So I'm gonna do my attack. So I guess 23 oh, does hit. It's, yeah. Right for seven damage. Uh, do you uh, have art, what level like the archery fight, fighting style that adds damage onto it? Mm -hmm. I already did, I already oh, added. I already thank you. Added it. I don't, I, I, I rolled there. a yeah, two. Yeah, we're good. yeah, I rolled a two. Uh, yeah, I rolled a two and then got plus. Not that we would ever think that someone wouldn't get. add their fighting style into their into their combat. Not that we would think I, that. I actually, I, I forgot that last week. So no, manual, rip a ring. Manual, manual, don't fucking scratch your head when I when I say no one, dude. Come on, you're fucking, Mickey you're embarrassing me in front of all my friends. <laughs> Come on. Mickey oh, uh, you know. Do you want to do up. anything with I your bonus action? Surge? Okay. So I can I make another attack on that. We're level two. Okay. <laughs> so I, I my action surge. Hold up, let me actually put this. Uh, action surge is now zero of one. Okay, and I'm going to take my second attack on him with my longbow. Still with advantage. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. Oh, gross. Uh, the 12 misses. 12. Okay, and I end my turn. Okay, Amra, it's Advantage turn. almost paid off. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to rush forward. Okay. And I'm going to attack the fucker who... You, you were hitting this fucker, right? The bug-looking one? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the the the... The bigger guy. Don't forget the ones marked in blue. You have advantage. Yeah, I'm yep. gonna I'm gonna stab the one that he already shot with an arrow because I want to take his kill. Um, you know what they say? Cut this. You, you kill the boss, we kill everything else. Just kidding. And, okay. You know what they say? He's friskier than a whipper wheel in a tub of moonshine. That's what I say. Definitely, definitely heard that before. Yeah, um, okay. Uh, I'm gonna attack once with my short, my short. Okay. My short, my long sword. That hits. And it, wait, does that that didn't add? You didn't, it, roll, did it? you didn't roll with advantage. You have to roll with advantage. Yeah, roll okay. roll again just in case you crit. It's a crit. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I'll just roll over. Because what if it's a crit? Nope. Okay, okay you still hit. It. Okay, but it's a nine plus two because I, I didn't add it. So I'm stupid. So uh, it, it's eleven. And then is it alive? Yes, it's still alive. Okay, is well, it alive? I like you. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm sorry. Gonna use... Do you say nine eleven? Again, oh, I, I did say it actually. Again. This is the second time. Just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Thin fucking uh, ice, bud. I'm gonna use my second wind and do it again. Your no, oh, it's your uh, action surge. Second wind is your healing. I gotta surge, fucking yeah. get action surge. Apparently, everyone's way cooler than me. Well, we only get it once, so, but I assume this, we can rest after this. So yeah, I missed. Oh, we'll find out. Oh, That's a miss. Yeah, you rolled a twelve too, dog. Dude, you mean you rolled the same almost? Uh. Yeah, like we rolled off one off of each other. <laughs> but I'm I, both uh, like, okay, continue my bad. That's it. I, I'm just gonna end my turn. I forgot I, I was gonna missy step my way out of here, but I don't think that's a bonus action. Uh, it is yeah. specifically that. Oh, it is. Yeah, I'm gonna missy step my way out of here then. Well, sometimes okay. depends what you're doing. It, it's called the blessing though. Yeah. Because, yeah. But uh, I'm gonna misty my step. Misty my step. I was gonna say this is exactly what you should be using it for. <laughs> oh yeah. What are we? What are we calling that again? It's the blessing. What? Yeah, the blessing, blessing of the shadow. The blessing, the blessing of the shadow. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to bless myself back okay. to uh, n next to what's his face. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, Amra, after your turn, you see, like. I thought that was a bonus action, though. Yes, it is. That's it what is. I didn't use it. That's what I used it for. Is, but, isn't, but isn't action surge a bonus action? It no, sure it fucking action. isn't, because balance means nothing. Oh. Action surge? Okay. Say it out loud, and then it's real. <laughs> Exactly. That's it. Yeah, you just, take e. boys. you just take an additional action on your turn. Oh, no. So yes, oh, uh, okay. Uh, like as you're like uh, like bouncing out, you manage to knock this thing that is like trying to suck life force. You think uh, out of uh, core, 
and you see like this well, gi the giant just like, like kind of pick him up out of me. throw him over his shoulder he just looks comedically small he's basically just like a shoulder pad oh. on him and kind of like oh, no. get out of here oh, shit. like you see him oh, no. like them both disappear uh, man, you're supposed to change the name manual that does not I don't like that that's bad wait he left they disappeared uh he disappeared that's different uh wait. Don't listen, don't look at manuals. This is the real one that we're talking about. Yes. Oh, wait, we, we can edit the. Oh yeah, we can't edit the name. I'm stupid. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, Fuck. Which brings us up to this tiny boy's turn. He just like he's tiny up here. He's got a little tiny spear in his hand. He's like. <laughs> Make that sound again. There's <laughs> the next one. She's like holding it out. It's like trying. It's way too tiny to actually hold this position from you, but it's going to try. Oh shit! I I, I didn't realize it was three of those little fuckers. I just <laughs> sorry. I was zoomed in really close. As this okay. thing like uh, you really it, like. It detaches from the ground and just starts to like float, and it just like hovers over. I hope this thing flies higher, so when it drops down, we can, we can get them again. And it it, so like, it tries to, it's like it's just basically floating within attack reach of you, so it's only like ten feet off the ground. Oh, okay. Wait, posture check. Posture check. Oh. Posture check. Yeah, oh. I guess we should do that. Haro, sub to us. Thank you for the sub. Thank I you. I, I, don't the know how, sub. I, I don't know how soon this long ago that was. I think it was right now because I have been Manual, looking at it. Your only job is to check that. Yeah. I, 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 the funny thing is, I specifically set up a third screen just for the chat and I missed it. What a fowler. Well, welcome. That's a, that's a too stupid welcome, dogs welcome. reference. Well, that's yeah, something I haven't now, thought weird, about in weird forever. Yep. One. Weird elf. Weird, weird elf. I was going to say weird elf. Weird what? elf. Does a 22 hit you? Me? 22 does hit me. No. No, oh. me. If it didn't, that'd be fucking wild, dude. I know. That. That's like some dragon status. You take nine slashing. Oh, shit. Ooh, You're like ooh. bloodied. That's ooh, pretty ooh, good. Ooh, That's ooh. Pretty good. Last tiny boy's turn. Me? Oh. No. <laughs> Manual. You're not a little guy. I don't know why he said these. Ulrich. I've, I've only had three shots. Where can oh, we, to, uh, where, where where can we move kind of, to, by the way? What? What's that? Oh, no. Continue. Uh, everyone's yeah. kind of been abusing this man, so I, I, will, I will try to do the same. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try to use my, my Eldritch Blast move. Okay. Oh, real fast, DM. Is that water walkable? Yes, it, it is weightable. You hit. Okay. So it's not like, okay. Nice. Uh, is that with your uh, bonus on top of it already? Uh, no, weirdly enough. Uh, oh, so add, who, add who three forgot, onto that. I, I haven't added it. Who forgot this time? Who forgot this time? Hey, manual. <laughs> manual? Yeah, yeah, manual. Actually, uh, manual, could you yes. fuck off? <laughs> could you perhaps Did consider you tell me to fuck fucking off? off? Do you have anything to do with your bonus action? Uh, no, but I am going to use my movement to move even further away. Just, not not to, you know, in, in, insinuate that I want them to be attacked, just that I don't want to be attacked, you know. All right. Yeah, I don't want to be attacked either. So I, I I, I'm, attacked. I'm back here. Mm -hmm. But attack yeah, I'll just blast on that guy for, for 13. Yeah. Actually, this guy oh, will look. Uh, DM, I do have a repelling blast. Can oh. I try to move it away from me? You can push it five feet away from you. Only five? I thought it was like fifteen or something. Or I thought it was five. Much. Maybe. Hang on. Hang on. We 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 have the technology. We have the technology. Have the technology. The technology. Uh, what is it? Up to ten feet. Oh, up to ten feet. I like can I try? Oh, can I try to like push it into this other little? This other little, as we say in the industry, this little fucker. This little sure. fucker back here. Uh, <laughs> does that take damage too? I I probably not. But I thought it'd you know, be entertaining uh, to me. Yeah, it's just going to push him like back through it. It's so tiny that it just kind of I'll is able it. to move out of the way. I'll take it. Like, we, take them. we take those. We take those victories. We take them. This thing was already looking like it was in a like weakened state before, but it is now looking fairly uh, bad. 
Good. Uh, right. And Jetta, it is now your turn. Shot. Jetta, Are you, you just like a country, you're young, hungry, and scrappy? Oh, I'm, I'm so hungry. For that too, okay? I thought you didn't like Hamilton. Right, I'm going to hit, I want, I want to hit I this like man. The... Or Jetta, Jetta like is known for three things. Songs. Being young, being dumb, and being full of cum. All right? That's the three things. <laughs> yeah. Super full of cum. Okay, maybe Whoa. don't focus on that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that that's a 26. I hit, I hit him for nine damage. You guys are making me feel very it. validated with my support options for, for spells. I hit him with my arrow. How's it look? Is it alive? Yeah. Uh... This thing is on death's door right now, but it's alive. Okay. Yes, it is and then, still uh, what technically I'm do, alive. What I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my bonus action and shadow of the what was it the blessing of the shadow, shadow. myself. Wait, did everyone? You guys tele, can tele, just tele, walk. Teleport. Yeah, you you could walk. No, There's I nothing. Tele, I don't know why everyone's you. using these crazy abilities. No, you want, can use your legs I that wanna, you got. I want, I want to teleport this over here. I mean, that's yeah, cool. Nah, I, I want to use... No, that's I, I fair. That teleport. is pretty cool. I, want, I just want to teleport. Yeah, so you're, you're basically right. standing on top of this giant tree right now. It's like... Huh? I want to remind like, everyone... Go, you the, fuck. You the reason some I teleport... The reason I teleported was because I was in a danger zone range. to uh, yeah. monsters. Yeah, that's what I look for. <laughs> I had 30, 30 feet of speed. I had a 30... Dude, I wanted to do a cool anime thing. Shoot him in the teleport. <laughs> okay. I shot him and teleported at the same time. That'd be cool. So, all right. Um, b before I make my movement, I want to know where the In fuck, uh, Jedi, not Jedi, where the fuck is, what's his name? Or, um, Ulrich. I'm oh, way he, back here, bud. Why did everyone leave me? Well, I, no, just because well, you're I have so a strong. Go. You're just so strong. I wanted to let you flourish in your environment so, and dispose okay, I'm gonna come of up these here. Yeah, I'm going to awesome. come, I'm going to come up here and support. I'm going to, I'm going to attack the fucker. Play support. Okay. Um, I mean, if I die, it's on you guys. I want you guys to know this. Why is your token weirdly bigger than five yeah, by five? I, I, I didn't want to ask JD to fix it, but can you fix that for me, please? I think you can. Oh, I somehow feel lose. like this is Manuel's fault. I, it's not. How does he look see? like Manuel? I want to. I want to see your guy. Oh, there you go. There it is. He fixed it. Anyway, um, advantage, longy, swordy, and let's go. Oh, okay. 11 is dead? Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's dead. Okay, okay, hold on. <laughs> as I kill it, I shout out as, like, you know, top of my lungs, one! The big one, too! And, uh... And I scream, I yell out, I hit him the, I, gave, I hit him the most! We're yeah, taking a half on this one, buddy. No, uh, Ulrich's licking to... his he's licking his quill and like writing down on the parchment. You know, yeah, he is right. That is that is one, but he did get more hits is the thing. I Anything to twice. instigate this rivalry. We so each that, hit it, we, we each hit it this twice. Is, <laughs> this is this is a this is a half. This is a half. I I, I, I yell this is a half. This okay, has well, this, I'll, this I'll... has major this only counts as one. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Anyway, um, I think I have nothing else to do. I yeah, uh, like as as thing. you like, you, I'm assuming you're just like either slicing it or stabbing it with your sword. I don't know which one you have. Yeah. Yeah, but as you're like slashing slicing? it. Oh, I can do it one more time. Go yeah, ahead. Your kill cap. Uh You see like the three uh, little, fo like the little fairies with it, just like. What do we do now? Like you, you can't hear what understand what this. Oh, sorry. Uh, Order can understand what they're saying. They're saying like, uh, "What do we do now? Uh, that's dead. Uh, I don't know our chances. Eh, might as well fight anyway." It's basically like the is, thoughts going through them, and only Ulrich understands it. Is fairy its own language, or is it's it Sylvan? Sylvan. Sylvan. Oh, you might Sylvan. actually have that. D DM, do I have an out of turn ability to speak to these guys? Yes, talking is free action. Uh, can Can I try to Can I try to talk to them real quick? Yeah. Uh, I'll just say in Sylvan, you know, something to the effect of, uh, it would seem your your leader there is dispatched. You're welcome to to return to your daily comings and goings, which I assume, because it's Sylvan, sounds like, you know, you know, just sort of like this weird <laughs> fucking nonsense language. Yeah. All right. Uh, like, oh, hmm? intimidation? I shall do this. I would prefer it was persuasion, but uh, <laughs> alternatively... Uh, you could just roll really well. Yeah. The thing about the thing about rolling in D and D is that it's a it's a game of skill. 
It takes a lot of skill to sort of roll the dice and get a high number is the thing. And you, like you hear them like, you know, this guy's talking a lot of sense. I didn't know like people here could speak our language. Uh, maybe we should just get out. He might be connected to someone. It's like, yeah, OK, OK, that, that sounds good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Uh, I'll meet you at the noodle cart. OK. And they all disappear. <laughs> Uh, so, so uh, wait, they, 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 they like disappear, like unappear. Yeah, you just hear, you probably hear like, and then they're gone. Yeah. yeah they're little, oh, little, it's like, it's like I kind of put my bow down and say, like, oh, come on. I wanted another, I, I need to get my one up here. And I just put my <laughs> bow away. Look. Damn it. Okay. Um, Amber walks up, puts away his sword and he's all like, look, I'm willing to admit that we both hit it twice. But I think I get a one up because I'm the one who actually struck the finish. Yeah, you blow. know, if you think about it, he's the one that killed it. But it does look like Jetta happened to get maybe more hits on it. Hang on, let me do the calculations and uh, anything I can do to sort of exacerbate this rivalry as we continue <laughs> to figure out where the fuck our friend Core went. Oh, yeah. yeah uh, <laughs> like, as they disappear, you hear like another. Oh, quick, quick question. Uh, as he and the giant reappear. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, oh are, 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 they, are they gone? Yeah, I killed... <laughs> this is Amber, by the way. Like, yes, I killed the big one and the, the rest left. Oh, 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 uh, oh, is is uh, the body of the dead thing still there? Yes, yes, it's still there. I was about to answer in... Can I shoot it? Sure. No. It's a dead Why? body. It's not going to really count for anything. Uh, Yo, okay. I'm just double tap. It. That's okay the rule. Double tap. I shoot it. And I'm just like, oh, there's my one. It, it was twitching a little bit. <laughs> oh my God. And I, yeah, I, I take out my my ink and quill and just sort of like add that to the parchment. Any any time, literally any time I can get you guys to <laughs> to fucking fight with one another to like accomplish a goal together, I will do it. It's like it, Amber, it doesn't seem like you quite killed it now, did it? So uh, like I walk over and just pull out my my arrow and just put it back. <laughs> um, I, I'll, I'll approach this this mysterious giant. Do do I know what he is? Uh, yes, you would know that. Rather, more specifically, just Ulrich know what he is. Yes, you you know he's a fear bold. Like, okay. you don't see them very much. They do tend to keep to, like, more forest mm -hmm. areas, but, like, there are some who live in cities and stuff. Yeah, you just said he's very big, and he, yeah. I mean, not to, you know, racially profile him, he does appear to be a fur bold, so. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, Goliaths generally aren't known for having hair. Yeah. So if, if And if they do, it's, like, you know, very, very humanoid, you know? Yeah. So very, he's very like on the face, on the head, you know. Yeah. So the basic way to tell a uh, Goliath from a Fearbulg is Fearbulgs generally have hair. Goliaths don't. Um, I'll try to speak mm. to him and tell him. Just say, "Are you all right, sir?" Oh, yeah. He 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 understands what you're saying, but he responds, to him, "Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, I, I'm all right. Uh, I'm just very uh, happy that you two uh, kind of came along. Uh, I, I don't know what's gonna do. There are three of us. You, the three of you came along. I don't know what's gonna do about that." Well, four if you so count the, the unconscious one. Oh, I, I, is he a booty of yours? Uh, hang on. I, I'll, I'll give him like a little slap on the cheek and see if he wakes up immediately. Just sort of, <laughs> just a little, you know. Uh, oh, no, no. Uh, I, I don't think he's going to be waking up from that anytime soon. Uh, oh. Spores like that. Well, then in that case, he is our dearest friend. Oh, yeah. Thanks for saving him. No, no, no problem. It's 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 nice to meet you. Uh, my name is a uh, Sephandrius Dola. Uh, most people just call me Seth. Oh well, Seth. Thank you so much for looking over our friend and, of course, keeping him safe. We we really appreciate it. We'll we'll of course take him from here, and uh, I'll sort of motion to to Amra and Jetta, like you know, chop chop. Go ahead and throw him over your shoulder, as as is one does, and then. Uh, um, I, I I don't suppose you know it does seem to be getting a bit late. Um, it, it is the 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 sun is waning, as they say in the industry. Uh, I was wondering if perhaps we could find any lodging here or something. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yes, that that's fine. Uh, my my family is uh, out right now, so I have a lot of space open in the sanctuary if you'd like to stay. Uh, yes, if you're offering, I would I would be so so unbelievably thankful for such an offer. Oh, yes, no no problem. I, I can even try and see if I can uh, fix your booty here. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you for fixing our booty. As, as he our says booty, booty I kind of I kind of question. I look. I'm trying to speak with like a stereotypical Canadian accent. I'm oh, doing yeah, it terribly. I, yeah, I know. I'm, I, I'm, I, I'm just looking like. Booty. Booty. I, look, I, I look at Amra and I'm just like, did he just look at like, Did he just say yeah. what you just said? 
Yeah, he's gonna fix our booty. Um, yeah, d- d- don't worry. Thanks to playing bridge for so long, I know exactly how to speak Canadian. So, yeah, <laughs> thanks. That'd be really great, guy. Is the thing. All right, so go ahead and put him in the back there, and you know, in a bed, and then we'll just sort of, you know, hunker down in the barn out there. You know, we we'll just hey. get to just sort of get some beds going, and you know, we'll be out of your hair lickety split. You know. Yeah. So Alex presumably, <laughs> like he 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 has he has core duty right now. But I walk up to uh to Seth and it's like. Uh, do you happen to have food? Yes, yeah, so, food. Uh, we have uh, plenty of food. Uh, are you fine eating uh, fungi and stuff? We have plenty of that, eh? What? Absolutely. We we would that, as, we as would indulge in such a delicacy. And as you're talking, I say, do you have drink? And I smile. Uh, uh, I have water and tea, if, if that suits you. Uh, well, as we start walking back towards this place, because presumably Seth is leading us, I'm like, Seth, I'm pretty sure if you get your fungus, you get some water, and you get some sugar, <laughs> and you leave them together for a while, and you drink it, it might make you feel pretty happy about life. I assure both of you, if you were to drink <laughs> tea distilled from a fungus, you, you will never die. have a better experience. Wait. It'll be a bit diluted. Um, I would recommend eating the fungus, but you know, as a as a very very close follow up to that, eating or drinking rather, imbibing tea made from mm. this will will in mm. fact give you quite a good time. So let's go let's go back into Seth's place, I guess, and we'll uh, yeah we'll we'll, we'll, we'll follow Seth. Yes, yeah. you will uh, like start tracking through an area that, like I said, has like giant trees that are more distantly spaced, but there's these like stone buildings that have been carved between them, seemingly like ancient relics of the old ages. You you like follow him into the center where this courtyard opens up. It's green for as far as you can see, but in the center of it stands this like jet black monolith. I say okay. Uh, th- th- this is the main yard. Uh, Guest lodgings are over there, but uh, for right now, we should probably worry about food. So uh, you said you were uh, good with fungi. Eh? I, I might be able to scrounge up some grubs uh, if that's what you're more uh, into. No, the, the fungi will do. All right. No, I will, I'll, I'll do the grub. Come on, don't be a wuss. They would both, elbow, they would both elbow, love elbow, to Amra. be grubs. As you see, Come on. they would never yeah, back wants, down he, from he any want, torch. Yeah, he wants a grub, too. He wants grubs, many grubs. All right. I want. I want. I would like five grubs. Okay. Uh, I'll take six. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I believe you said your name is Ulrike. Uh, yes. My my name is Ulrich. Yes. I am uh, Amra. Would you Let's like grubs pressure. as well? <laughs> that, that is a very you know, nice name. I have rations. I would. I would. I would never impose upon a a, a, a host who is willing to give us a, a bed for the night. So of course I will allow you and these other two, three even. To partake in your delectable grubs, I will, I will suffer with my rations, of course. Yeah, well, uh, I'll see what I can do about your uh, friend. Uh, uh, I haven't really encountered this kind of stuff before, but if something like that, maybe may we conked out for a couple more days. I'm sure he'll be fine eventually. Yes, he'll eventually. Be, hopefully, he'll be fine in two weeks. Anyway, <laughs> statistically, he'll be fine. You know, uh, when we care. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so did he bring back grubs? Yes, he, he will like uh, like point you, like walk you over to where, where the guest rooms are, lay core down in one of the beds. These beds are made for Goliath, so there is like room for two more of him in there. God damn. I mean, like these guys are like eight feet tall. Core is maybe three if he's in high heels. Jeez. To be honest, when you said the grubs, I just see the when in Lion King. Yeah. yeah. Now, now uh, I'll go uh, see about dinner. Uh, it shouldn't take me that long. So you uh, unpack, unwind, and yeah, maybe see if you can find anything that can help you. We don't really need for much other than the bare necessities here. Bare necessities. Guys, <laughs> okay. like the third Disney reference right in a row. You got to you gotta, you gotta have some skin. You got to be able to handle it, okay? You know, you guys do all your Disney references. I'll be right back. I'm, 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 what they say in the industry is sort of chock full of piss. So yeah, I'll be right back to... while you guys eat grubs. Yeah. Yeah, we're eating grubs, and you two can entertain everyone while I go piss. I'll be back. Okay, I guess we're taking a, 
And they're right. taking a pee break right they're now. They're taking a pee break. All right, JD, do, do you what have you been yeah. up to? Uh, oh, wait. Not, not much. I've been working on stuff for A to J. Uh, they just released my yeah. review of the new Digimon movie, Digimon Adventure 02, The Beginning. Oh, yeah, there's wait, a new wait, Digimon wait, wait, movie wait. coming out. This is zero two. Wait, so, so, Digimon okay. Adventure okay? 02, The Beginning. Uh-huh. Yeah, is it takes like place. Pre- no. Uh, contrary to what the name would imply, it's a sequel to right. the Tri uh, tri- uh, set of movies plus uh, Last Evolution Kizuna. So it takes place like 10 years after uh, Digimon Adventure uh, Zero Two ended. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Okay. It's a very interesting how, movie. Okay. Not, how, I mean, without spoilers, how was it? Uh, I, I mean, thought it was a good like, movie. Uh, if you're like mm-hmm. looking for a lot of Digimon fights, it's not the kind of movie you're going to want to see because that's basically a small part of the third act and that's it. Oh, Most of okay. it is kind of like expanding Oof. on the story of it and if you can kind of accept some of the changes it's making to the like they lore a little bit? yeah like they've, they've added uh, some more stuff to like the backstory of it that changes things around but it does that but it, it's also a really interesting look at I think human Digimon relations like friendships between them and how those came about and how those kind of evolve oh that's interesting yeah okay sheesh it sounds like you've been busy good yeah. busy other than that I've just not been doing much. I've been obviously helping out with UPZ and preparing for this. Yeah, like, okay, quick question. How, like, if you don't mind me asking, as a DM, how long, if you're okay with that, like, with, with answering, like, how long does it usually take you to kind of, like, prepare for, like, like our sessions so far? Uh, I spent a couple of hours preparing. Uh, it's helpful uh-huh. that I ran uh, this campaign before, so I can say, oh, yeah, this, like, series uh, of events okay, cool. will come across. So, like, uh, they had met uh, Sephandrius in their second, might have been their third session, just because uh, uh-huh. I had a problem where one of our players dropped out after the first session when I first ran this campaign. So I was like, okay, what uh-huh. do I do with him? And he got killed off by Mama Maggie, is essentially how that it, happened. Oh, so if we had gone to Mama Maggie, we might have died? No. No, we uh, he just like invaded her house trying to steal something that was important to him and she killed oh. him. Like Dang, if you pissed her died. off, yes, she would have killed you, but had you just like gone and said, Hey, we want something, she might have asked for like your firstborn in return. All right, we're spreading some seeds. Time to go ask that <laughs> farmer. <laughs> Marry that farmer's daughter. Oh. Another farmer's daughter. <laughs> Sir, I need to plant some seeds, till some Mm -hmm. land, plow a little bit of it, you know. (laughs) Do a little dance. Make a little love. Do a little dance. Get down tonight. Get down tonight. Get down tonight. Okay. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, so there's that. Uh, I also have to balance Mm. it with obviously helping out with UPZ and running my other other campaign, which I had to give them three quests too. It's like, what can I make quests out of that I've seen before? It's like, okay, I'm going to go Jack of the Beanstalk for one of them, skin of a rink for another one. And then I think another one's just, hey, what if uh, other plot things happened in a mine again? So I'm waiting for them mm-hmm. to pick one of those and like fully develop it out. That so, one is okay. a bit more oh, episodic. Right, cool. I like like the episodic stuff. I think is pretty like it's pretty awesome. It's like is it episodic as a like bad guy of the week. Uh, there's like awesome the overarching kind of plot thing. that is generally in the background of things. It's just more uh-huh. sometimes I have give them missions to go level up. It's more like a Monster Hunter kind of thing. Oh, okay. Where it's like, uh-huh. okay, urgent quest, go take care of that. Other times it's just like, okay, fiddle around with one of these three and I'll figure out how to make it work. All right. And then does it like, does it with with them actually doing those kind of quests, does it like affect the things that's going around in the world? Yeah. That, uh, like. Okay. Oh, uh, that's cool. I, I, I have just... Connected things that had no connection before said, you know, that makes kind of sense. Like, uh, I did uh, right. an adventure which was basically just, hey, they've got they've gotten roped into Clue in a like a magical manner. So mm-hmm. they have to figure out who killed the guy and how that happened. The murder mystery. Uh, yeah. Which uh-huh. went in a very interesting direction because I tried to make it extremely obvious who did it. And they're like, huh, I wonder if the obviously evil guy did it like. Let's check everything else. Just like bark down on all our other trees before we go. Oh yeah, it's the obviously evil guy. <laughs> uh, good old D and good old players for D and D. Yeah, They're and then like, they so gave him back like, his magic know, item that he used to commit the murders. So he just escaped. Well, I love murder. 
Yeah. Oh. 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 I mean, not I, I will tell you more about that. it uh, off uh, offline. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. Anyway, continue. Yeah. I'm just going to grab a small snack. I'll still be here. I can hear you. Okay, yeah. JD, so, JD was saying that he runs like 50 other campaigns. Besides I run one other campaign. 50. Anyway. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, like, uh, maybe 15 minutes later, uh, Sifandris comes back. He's got like big bowls of like grub, grubs. Oh, He's got like a basically a waiter's plate or like a waiter's tray. Mm. He's got like different kinds of tea. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, I, I didn't know what kind of teas you would like. So, uh, here, uh, uh, just uh, take what you like, and uh, I'll take the rest. I, if that's so okay with you. Mm. Well, the so grub. I, okay. I, I start grabbing grubs and just eating them. Mm-hmm. I mean, I want, it's not. I want, I, like, like. Uh, Go ahead. Yeah, you were. No. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, as you like put it in your mouth, it definitely feels strange like this is the first time you've had something like that and this one is basically still alive so it's just like squishes and you feel like all the like the juice and liquids right in your mouth it's an acquired taste but it's not terrible i bite it in i bite into one of them oh no then i, I look i was like oh is, isn't this good and i, I was like, isn't this good amra oh mm, the best mm. i'm like mm, no Wow. You, you can take this one. Can I grab the most n- n- nastiest looking one? And I just, I, I grab it and I put it right into his bowl. Oh, you should try this one. This one looks good, Amran. I just set it right there. Mm, yeah, you should have. The, you should try this one. I find the one that's the most slimiest. It looks like it just vomit. It spit up a little. I'm like here, this was for you. Tell him it's a and foreign cuisine, it so he tries it for, for his restaurant menu. <laughs> It's a, it's I, a foreign queen. I grabbed that slimy one and bite the head off and just slurp it down. I look at Amber and like, oh, mm, yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is disgusting. Let's move on. But anyways, we continue this until, we're just, until all the yes. slugs are gone. Uh, <laughs> yeah, are you having a contest about it or are you just like seeing what are you basically gonna call it time once you both don't chicken out? Well, presumably we're gonna. We're, we're, the way going to an end. Gonna, to finish. Yeah, this will never stop until we each have enough. Obviously, if there's an even, if there's an even number, then we just stopped. If there's an odd number, we probably fought a little <laughs> over the last one. But more than likely, we we ended up smashing it or breaking it in half. Or yeah, we, we probably smashed it. <laughs> I'd say you. I'd say you just like at some point you just start stuffing them in your mouth so quickly you both lost count. So you're both just yeah, claiming yeah. you won. Yep, I won. And Ulrich is just like there. It's like, Ulrich, yeah, oh, no, yep. no, you didn't. No. My, my yeah, it's impossible to say which one I, truly won, you know. I saw you maybe, the, maybe next time we do a grub eating contest, you know. We'll, we'll set parameters. Oh, <laughs> we can have the bubble guts now after all the slugs. Got my stomach trying to... <laughs> uh, oh, you should uh, try the tea. It's, it's really good for settling the stomach. Oh, okay. All right. Drink the tea. Drink the goddamn tea. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Sit in your chair and drink the god. It's a Final Fantasy Seven. Sorry. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, it it's extremely bitter. Like you've had like bitter teas, and this mm. one is just obviously like another step forward. This is an eleven in bitterness. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. Okay, so we're gonna. We're gonna sleep, sleep yep. off the drink. By the drink, I mean the slugs. But yeah, we yeah. sleep off the slugs. Yes. So uh, as you like go into your trance for the night, it's a lot weirder uh, than. Or it's weirder in that you don't really feel much. You get your like restoration. You just don't feel like you're connected to anything at this point. Like you're reaching out, but something might be there, but it's kind of walled off. There's something strange oh, about this area. This is for, for the both of us? Yes. Oh, wait, are we, we're awake now, right? Uh, Yeah, I assume uh, this area is safe enough that you didn't, like, feel the need to set shifts. Hmm. And I look at him and it's like, did you feel it too? Yeah, what was Camera? that? Was... 
I, I, I look like, around I mean, confused. The like last time I, last time I slept like that, God, or when last I had a trance like that, I was having a good wild night. <laughs> <laughs> like, so anyway, is is there anything crazy happening? Yeah, uh, is like, is there anything we could concern that just gonna, like? Uh, like no, like, like when you oh. wake up, you do. Uh, are you waiting till dawn, or are you just doing it? Like uh, we'll as soon till, as you wake, we have to wait, we have to wait till dawn for for our uh, half elf friend. Yeah, actually, uh, no. It seems to be a peaceful night out here. Uh, the moon is let's see, you're what four days in, so the moon is just getting to maybe like a a waxing uh, crescent, shining a little light down mm -hmm. on the courtyard where, uh, like I said, in the middle is that, that like large black monolith. So I'm like, ah, Ulrich, wake up, it's time to go. Here, have huh? a slug. Here, have a it's slug. It's still the middle of the night. No. Oh, I thought we slept. I thought we woke up. Yeah, you, you slept, but no, you, you were in we, trance for four yeah, hours. We only need four hours. Oh. That's why you trade off like, shifts. Go... Right. Oh, well, I was like, you want to go... Just... go see that monolith? Let's go look at the monolith, bro. Okay, so we go down. Look at this monolith. Yeah. Is it uh, huge? Yes. Uh, it is maybe 20 feet tall, like coming to a point at, at, for like the final two feet, maybe. Uh, mm -hmm. You see in like inscribed on it is words in like various different languages. Like you recognize some in common, some in Elvish, uh, any of the languages mm -hmm. you speak. There's something carved on there, though. If you try and like mm -hmm. format them into like any kind of sentence, it does not make any sense. Like, if you were to transcribe what you see literally, it would not make any sense. Uh, um, looking at this, uh, you've heard, like, talk of these. You thought they were uh, fables of some sort. This is uh, kind of what they call a midnight tower. They're said to be relics of the midnight era. But no one except those who uh, claim to be members of the Midnight Society would know what they mean. Hmm. This is a little confusing. Can I touch it? I'm just... Yeah. And I was like, man, none of this makes sense. I just touch it. Does anything yeah, happen? It, no, you can feel like it, something is carved on there. It is mm -hmm. very solid. Like, you know, if that you... If you took, like, your sword and whacked this until you know, the day you die, the, that thing would not see a chip in it. Whatever makes it's this up, it seems to be magic. indestructible. I look at... I look at Amra and it's like, maybe this is the thing that's making this kind of trance a little weird a little funny well you can't feel anything does it feel like strange does uh, it feel, feel, feel any you, you don't feel like you feel like magic is weak here like the the background magic field uh, you basically there's no like background magic here you basically have to draw it in to power any kind of spells you're using and that is also connected oh, okay. to kind of like the elven uh spirituality uh, how you like you access like trance and the memories uh, from like past elves. Huh. This is weird. I kick the I I I go ahead and kick the the thing. Uh, not too hard to break a toe, but yeah, kick it just to like. Yeah. Huh. Some things were not meant to be understood, Jetta. I'm just like. Well. Yeah, you're right. But maybe we should just put all these words together. The things that we know. We like. You go like maybe in common and elvish and we just kind of like yeah like i said uh people have tried this piece them together but diff there uh, there are records bad. of people trying this even casting like spells that would let them read all writing and it is essentially oh. nonsense written in just a hundred languages it's that some that code that be, that hasn't been cracked even by all. most people yeah we could be the ones though okay. right I mean, the Midnight yeah, Society claims have already cracked it, but uh, they are a very uh, secretive organization. Like, e even members only know maybe one or two other members who know one or two other members who know one or two other members. That's it is very oh, not so non centralized. Yeah. Uh, huh. If we ever find a Midnight Society member, we have to take him out to make to get the answer. Mm -hmm. like, this would be kind of fun. Well. I just kind of turned around. I kind of like give it a smack, and was like, "Well, uh, 
I guess we have to go figure out some other stuff to do. How yeah, long? How, what, what time is it? Like, you said it's like 3 a.m. at this point, maybe. And then our yeah. and, and Ulrich has to sleep like what? Another hour? two hours. Maybe another three. Uh, dawn's fairly early at this time of year, especially because you're, you're not super far north, but you're far enough north that it does affect like when the sun rises. Hmm. Is Seth, I guess Seth is asleep. Yeah, he he's asleep in the, like the family quarters, which is uh, very, very empty right now. Like if you were to peek in, in, you would see that he is sleeping alone, but there are two even bigger beds than he for him for what you assume mm. would be like his parents and his siblings. And then a few smaller ones for younger siblings. Oh, I was gonna rob Let's these see, people. Okay. I don't want to get killed. I was, gonna, I was, yeah, I was just gonna add. I was just like, I was like, hmm. I kind of so as I'm walking away, I'm just like, hey, hey, and I kind of smile. I kind of laugh. I bet you can't dent that thing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so uh, it's common knowledge, right? Known... We, already, we already know that we we don't we, we can't damage. Like, it, if right? you tried to, you could sit there trying to whack and see which one you can make a dent into it. You'd be there until morning came, and like Seth just asked you, "What what are you doing? Hey, that that, that that's a <laughs> precious property, eh?" <laughs> you know what? Let's just go sit down and wait for Ulrich to wake up. I think that's the yeah. best choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I just kind of laugh at it. I kind of scoff. <laughs> mm -hmm. like, wait he, until the morning. Yeah, uh, Seth will wake up uh, early, like even before dawn, and you'll see him like step out the back, and you assume he's going to take care of some morning ritual. He's going to pee. <laughs> no, it's I'm morning gonna, prayers. I'm going to wake up Ulrich. All... Ulrich, wake up. It's time to go. Yeah, I'll wake up as normal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll wake so, up slightly before sunrise. Is Cora alive and awake and silent, or is he? Still uh, he's still dead? asleep. Like you can check his heartbeat, and you can. He is still alive. Alive. You check his vital, yeah, you check his vital signs, and I'm no, gonna, he's still alive. I'm gonna shake him. Is he wake up? No. Cora, he's been put Cora. to sleep by some deeply magical poison. So you I, had to I, slap I, the magic out. You had to slap the poison out of him. And I slap, and I just give it a good, a hard slap <laughs> to his face. I've seen this before. As, no. He, he mutters something, but uh, he doesn't wake up. And I'd say, I look so, over at Amra, I was like, see? Go ahead, try it again. He, he almost woke up then. Go, go. <laughs> So I, I, I lean over real fast. I sigh. I don't know if it's going to work, but fuck it. I'm going to try it. I slap him on the other cheek. <laughs> he once again mutters something. Uh, <laughs> it, it's not pretty. Uh, the first word is something you shouldn't say in front of your mother. The second word is you. Oh, so. Uh, I, I don't kick him hard, but I like kick him a little. I'm like, ah, oh, never mind. And I, I go to I go rush outside to go find Seth. I assume he's right outside, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, good morning. Uh, what's wrong with our friend? He's not waking up. Uh, uh, like like I, I said yesterday, uh, he's uh, breathed in some, I think, magical poison. It might keep him asleep for a long time. Uh, at least a couple more days. A couple more days? Yeah. What are you going to do with him? Uh, I mean, he seems fairly light. You could just carry him, couldn't you? <sighs> yes. The Thank you for your help. And I walk back and I walk back to the other two and I'm like, guys, we have to carry him the whole way. I mean, we could just drag him by the by his ankles. I mean. <laughs> just remember, on, turnabout like, is fair I, play. First of all, like, I want to point out that that might be more work than just putting him on our shoulders. Because <laughs> I was like, I'm not. I, mean, I, I look. <laughs> I'm not carrying dragging. him. Because dragging is, <laughs> like carries the weight a lot differently than just putting someone in, over your shoulders. I have the perfect idea. It, yes. I've done this with all the ladies so far. I know they love it. It's very comfortable. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Hear me out. I take, back ride. Okay. Uh, I take Amr's backpack off. Uh-huh. I put uh, Kor's legs through the 
through like the straps and then I put the straps back around his shoulders so as to like basically give him a permanent piggyback and just <laughs> so say this, I'm carrying, this will be I'm carrying core. Well, of course. You're the strongest. You're the, yeah. you're, you're the bravest and yeah. strongest out of all of us. Fine. You transcend yeah, oh, what yeah, it you're, means you're to be he's... strong. It has to be you. Oh, he, yeah, he, you're, you're definitely you're definitely the, the strongest here. If there were a competition oh. between us, not to say that there should be, but if there were, you would prove yourself but the, the strongest of all, the mightiest. No one could best you. Yeah, it has no, to yeah, be I, you. I, you're our oh, savior, yeah, I, our I, hero. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The carrier definitely. of this burden. Atlas, yes, yes. who carried the weight of the world on his shoulders. Okay, uh, not that obviously in reference, but close enough. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Well, I, I sit there and I... Anything I'm, I'm, I can I'm say to get him to I'm do it. sarcastically <laughs> agreeing with him. I was like, yeah. I guess. Yeah, you're, you're the guy that's... You're, you're the carrier. You're, you're, you're the carrier. You're, you're definitely the strongest. And I kind of just like smile at him. And I'm just like, whew, walking. <laughs> and like, I don't have to carry you. <laughs> So we put Amra, <laughs> we put Amra, we put Cora on my back. Uh, we make sure what direction we head off with with uh, with Seth before we leave, and then yeah. we leave. All Thank right, you, Seth. Yeah, you will take off uh, back uh, towards uh, Ikana. It will take you another. You basically lost all the time you made up by taking the shortcut. Oh my god! Just because you got lost one time. Got lost even worse the second time and had this layover. So you'll still be Fine. there on what the seventh, like eighth, sorry, uh, the eighth of this month. Is this time sensitive? Like, can we like can the world end if we take too long? No, sorry, that's kind of plans a better move question, forward. But... We'll see how it goes. Okay, I have like I have played some old school. Sorry, just really fast side. I have played some old school like modules that like some. DMs like second edition DMs would like play like to the T, and those had some really crazy shit. Like legit, if you took too long to get somewhere, you, you might as well stop playing. You know? <laughs> hey, that's and what anyway. happened to me in one of our campaigns. Yeah, I, had, I said I just wanted to make sure that's not like we, we shouldn't be double timing it and like just leave core and run. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But uh, <laughs> well, I mean, you have at least one thing that in your possession that you know will hopefully not be needed to, for the world to actually end. So as long as you keep oh, that, they, they, you have at least one. <laughs> yeah, they'll have to find you before that. Okay, okay. So let's uh, let's just head on. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm struggling, but I'm going. <laughs> yeah. So it will take you like two days until you finally like exit the forest, and you can see like the uh, like there's the meadows in front, but off in the distance you see like these shining white uh buildings of this city that has been like bleached by the sun think like the i think was it the greek coast where like everything's yeah. carved out are carved out of white rock okay. but it's this sprawling metropolis going out it is like new york city carved out of those rocks whoa ihana boys let's go is it this is a town where A, you may, might have people looking for you, uh, Amra, and B, uh, Jeddah does have a bounty, so you're gonna have to figure out. Yeah, but so, uh, like, like, but for uh, Jeddah can figure out his own thing. Um, first of all, I'm pretty sure that no one wants to just kill me on sight. And second of all, uh, oh, I didn't actually say this. Second of all, I'm wearing a mask. Obviously, the, the, that'll make me like kind of like stand out. But presumably, the ma like I'm just gonna. Put, keep my mask on, put my hood up, and just, uh... <laughs> Wait, are you I, wanted here, too? Well, because I left my crew here, and they, they oh, might still I be... See. They might still be here, or they might have, uh... <laughs> even if they left, they probably, like, if Amber comes back, you know, send them back to... I don't know. Some, some shit. I'll pull up my bandana and just kind of, like, put it over my, like, my face a little bit more. Yeah. The, 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 and I walk in big... just coughing really loud. <laughs> well, hold on, this is a big metropolis that presumably has like guards at the gate, right? Yes, like uh, there are multiple entrances. The one you come came in through is one on like the northeast side, northwest side. Yeah. I'm sorry. Is uh, it the most popular entrance? Is there a lot of people going in and out? There are like ten entrances along this side, all like on bridges. So there are people coming in. Oh, it's sneaking. Yeah. Are they checking people? Yes, they're they're checking people just for like you're taking contraband in. Yeah, so we'll, we'll just head in there. Like, just like uh, I'm trying to 
if you lay low enough, no one is like expecting to see you. You, you don't have like a wanted poster behind them. Like yeah. if this if you spot this person, right. handcuff on sight. Like you might have a wanted poster somewhere in the city. It's just not like the guard's first mm. objective here. Well, no matter what we do, we can't really properly sneak over the walls with core. So right. w- the best idea is just to just walk we can in lay him on the wall and just, just lay him down. Tell the truth that you need a doctor in this big city to hopefully help your yeah, friend. Exactly. We'll, we'll just walk in. Say a friend, a friend got hurt in the forest. We're trying to, you know, that's our plan. We're gonna walk in there and just be calm our and act normal. Yeah, he's, he's actually our child. He, they can tell he's, he's an adult halfling. Child. That, that is a terrible, like, semi-racist thing to say. <laughs> that, that, that is a terrible statement to make to a halfling, like calling them a child. <laughs> this is our child. <laughs> anyway, so, um, so yeah, we're going to walk up and try to just spoof the guards. Mm-hmm. Be like, my, my son, he's very sick. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay are you dude, carrying, like, so any, any of these? You just, like, list off some like brand products that are nothing that you would have. Like, are, are you carrying any gold not marked by the, like by proper authorities? Are you carrying uh, blast powder? Are you carrying blah, 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 blah. It's a long list, but he has to go through it every time because it's his job. No, 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 and no. No. Mm -mm. All right. Move on. And I, like as you get in through the gates, you see like the city opens up. You see like carts moving and people moving in every direction. People trying to sell you things, and even like uh, like small uh, children like flinging out newspapers, like trying to get someone to buy it. You hear this like this one guy saying, "Yeah, big conflagration on the South Island. Thousands flee." Like just like Thousands trying to draw flee. attention. What? Thousands fleeing. Yeah, I wonder what that's about. <laughs> I call the two guy copper for a paper. Who? Come on, come, anyone, anyone, you. <laughs> Let me see Ooh, that. I I, and I and my my tactic is I'm going to try to be that person, like in the movie. I I, I don't like steal it. I just like let me see that. I just grab it real fast. Uh, 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 hey, 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 you gotta pay. <laughs> you gotta pay. No pay, no paper. Can come I on. try to slide a hand? Okay, there it goes. We're sure. Gonna We're gonna get a <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not gonna do it. I'm watching. Come on, here, it's so two copper. Gonna, you gotta like, have two hey. copper on you. I turn towards. I turn towards Ulrich. Ulrich. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? Oh, oh actually, I'll let Ulrich answer first. See if he just pays for it before he does what I'm gonna do. You can't gaslight me into paying for your shitty newspaper. You're right, you're right, you're right. So I reach behind me. <laughs> I reach behind me. Hold on. I can't, I can't stop my <laughs> I, I reach behind me and I and I find and I find a pouch on, on course belt. <laughs> and I take, I take a cold out of it. Okay. I, look, I'm, I take I, a cold I, out I, of it. I'm seeing this and I'm like touche. I take touche. a cold out of it and I hand it to the man. And you have change for this. Uh, you can no. keep the change too. All sales final. No, no change given. <sighs> what do you have? What do you have a change? He said no change given. No change. He just told you. Oh, no yeah. change. Fine, have you fine, gone fine, deaf? Fine, 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 fine. <laughs> From our last <laughs> excursion. You want you, you want forty nine more papers? I gotta sell them, or Weasel just uh, beats me. Look, I, I grabbed three of them. I hand him the gold piece, and I'm like, you know what? Just. just I, 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 I talk over him. Yeah, we'll take, yeah, he'll take it. He'll take all of them. He will take all 49. Yes, that is correct. All 40, he'll take all 49. He was yes. just saying to us right over there before we approached you. <laughs> he will hand that you a fat stack of papers. Fine, fine. He's giving it to his Thanks. family. <laughs> I'll, I'll start Jack, putting stuff in my backpack. What he hears about well, this. But, you know. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck we're doing with 49 papers. I, I, no, you, you we'll have load 50 our papers. It's fine. You have 50 papers. Oh, it's 49 okay. plus the one you bought for yourself. So okay, uh, so we, we all apparently all we all have newspapers now. Yeah. So now we're reading it. So what is yeah. the story now that I fucking read? yeah yeah, uh, yeah. Well, turns out it was just story? a minor fire on the trash can. Those thousands fleeing were ah. a bunch of birds. Oh. oh. You, you've seen the movie, Emmanuel. I thought it was gonna be something about. I thought we were like, in a quest. 
Yeah, I thought it was going to be a side quest. That I no, he, he's, well, just, uh, he's just giving out clickbait to get people to sell, buy his newspapers. Huh, that's how he makes a living. Courses. Yeah, you just piece course wallet. He's like, he's just like, well, at least it wasn't one of our money. It wasn't our money. You just made that newsy stay. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. He had a uh, though, uh, uh, if you go like looking through it, uh, Jetta, you'll notice that uh, like a fancy new restaurant has opened in a part of town where you might be able to move around fairly uh, unperturbed. So I turn oh. over to I turn over to I turn over to to Amra. I was like, well, uh, I guess uh, this bot looks pretty nice. I wonder I could actually kind of show my face a little bit. But uh, how do you feel about it? What's the restaurant, by the way? I uh, let me. Is there a name? Yes, the prancing pony. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, the, the sapphire bond. Horse. Sapphire what? bomb, like, like bond. Or like James Bond. B-O-N-D. Yes. Oh, okay. The Sapphire Bond. It's a little, it's a, it's a pretty, oh, you know, it's not the best part of town, but hey, you know, well, we can go. roam free a little bit. Well, let's go. Hopefully we can get a room nearby like, that we can, we wait till Core wakes up so we can go to that. We're going to the tower, right? That's what we're here for. There's no tower in this right? town. You're, you just know that uh, my, my mask your masked man walking. has come here. That's what I was gonna say. I, yeah, I had to remember where we were you you can ask around okay. for him, but you probably want to find some place to put core down first. Yeah, let's go to the, let's go to the restaurant. We could take him. We could take him to the we, veterinary. We take him out back. We put him, him down. down. <laughs> oh, you, I thought you were just like we end up. Ernie's just like the, yeah, our friend here. So so this inn is in a not so good part of town, right? Yeah, it's a it's on the like borderline corrupt part of town. It like it might be either a this is backed by some kind of organized crime. Or B, someone just really wanted to open a restaurant, didn't care where, and just pick the cheapest place. Honestly, that's fine. I was just curious if uh, if we can get a cheap lodging, which that which should be the case. Yes. So can we uh, find, like, a, a, not the cheapest. We can find a cheap lodging that we could just. Yes, uh, there is a uh, inn called the Fire Rose, uh, not, not very far. It is run by a family known or with the last name Rose. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. Um, how much is it a night? Uh, I think it's going to be one silver a person per night. So that'll be four. Oh my god! How much money did well, you thanks, use? Thanks. Of course, a gold. <laughs> Just one. We're about to use another. You're about to use half. You're thing. about to use forty percent of one. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna put down the money and be like, uh, here you go. And uh, Wait, who's I'll we? Be nice. And I'll, we're all there. We're, we're not going to. I'm, 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 I'm like, who's paying? Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. At first, I was like, we. Okay. But I'm going right, right. to be nice put the change. I'm going to put the change in his pouch, <laughs> and then I'm going to put him. To, I'll lay him on the bed, and like tuck <laughs> him in, <laughs> pat him on the forehead, and then like, okay, guys, let's get some food, and like, let's figure out where we're going next. Yeah. As, okay. as, 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 as you're tucking him in, I was like, "Hey, you know, in those fairy, the fairy tales, they give him if you give him a, a, a nice peck, he might wake up." All right, you want to kiss him? You couldn't pay me to. Come on, Is it because he's a half. You know you want to do it. He looks like a oh, child. Shit. I would be arrested in a moment. <laughs> he said it too. Don't stop saying that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are we just gutting? Are, are are we not saying truths? Is that the is that the new trend? We just don't they, say the truth. They know he's an adult. He looks like an adult. They, mm -hmm. People know what an adult halfling looks like. Mm -hmm. He's just short. This is a bigger kid. But from afar, w you know, who's to say? How about none of us make out with Corey? We just yeah, I, I agree with that plan. That's a good plan. <laughs> like, come on, no, do you wanna? He might wake up. Don't you no. want to? Let's just go. Let's just go. Yes. So as you like walk into the Sapphire Bond, you notice that this is a very, like, for being in a bad part of town, this is a very, like, swanky looking place. Oh, oh. yes. Like, Welcome. A lot better than I expected. Uh, Table for three. Oh, yes. Three. Uh, this way, please. He escorts you off to, like, this table over here. Wait, yes. Uh, are you guys okay? Are we are we down here? Are we uh, up here? By the, the one closer to the piano. 
Oh, that one. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We know. We know. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Welcome to our our lunch service. I will talk to the chef, and it will be out as soon as possible. We offer fixed courses for one gold a head. One gold a head. This is the finest cuisine that you will find in all of Ikana. <sighs> well, I, 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 I guess we're fine with this, but but for that amount of money, maybe you could help me out with something. Yes, uh, how can I help you? Um, well, we're new to town here, and uh, we're actually meeting a friend of ours, and we haven't really, like... You know, we just got here. We haven't really had a chance to, like, you know, get our feelers out about where he is. So I figured, might as well start asking around as we get here. You happen to see a man in black, maybe traveling around with a, f- a few goblin helpers? Ah. Goblin helpers. Uh, man of mask. No, I have uh, not heard of this. Uh, but uh, I don't uh, get out much. I mostly help around here with the chef and uh, oh, oh. tend to my family. But uh, if you are looking for information, uh, there are people you can see. Information brokers, and uh, depending on who you ask, maybe even some of the children. Uh, no one seems to pay much attention to them. Uh, much better place to l- be looking for your information. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll be fine with the food then. Yes. Then I will have your meal. An arrow uh, when he walks away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I? Can I kill him? I mean, you can if you want to cause a scene. I don't know why you would want to cause a scene, are, are, though. Are you... No, I'm not going to kill. I'm sorry. I think the, I, I think the fact I've only had like four shots, but I, I feel really tipsy right now. I don't know why. Anyway, I because you've you also been drinking other yeah. literal murder. I tell what you're trying. This guy's trying to do. I'm just like, don't. <laughs> I'm just gonna and then un- under the under the table. I have my arrow, like, I have my bow. Just, <laughs> just like, kind of drawn a little bit, like, don't. So about uh, <laughs> so, uh, ten minutes later, he'll come out with the first course. He uh, puts down in front of you what is clearly, uh, like, squidding pasta. Uh, he's, and he notices, uh, this is uh, pasta uh, made from uh, uh, the freshest seafood found in the uh, middle of the ocean, uh, it's uh, where currants are uh, said to mix. It is a very spicy pasta made specifically by our chef. Uh, is it a spicy meatball? No, it is not a meatball. It's meatball. It is a spicy uh, fish pasta. <laughs> okay. As, As if your mouth, it is on fire. Too. Okay. So uh, is, is he going to leave our table while we're eating? Oh, well, sorry. Uh, watch us. It's not spicy. It's just uh, seafood pasta. I'm sorry. Oh, how many courses is this? Uh, four. Okay. Yes, okay. this is the finest okay. that that DC has to offer. So we're gonna. <laughs> I looked at Jenna. I'm like Jenna, watch this. And then, okay. So um, we eat it. Yeah. I assume nothing happens. What about the next course? Yes. Uh, after that, he will bring out what seems to be like small, like hens. You think there is some kind of bird on a tray? Uh, but though he also brings like a giant like stack of uh, like napkins or cloths, like he places them down mm-hmm. in front of you and hands each of you uh, a specific cloth. Yes, uh, Moonbird uh, from Western Nuna. Uh, it is said to be such a, a sin to eat it that some uh, prefer to hide their face from the gods. If you would prefer that, I have provided uh, cloth for you. Oh no 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 no! So <laughs> I start. I start viciously biting into my bird, like just look it up and just like <laughs> throwing caution to the wind. Yes, uh, he also pl- uh, as you like you start eating it. He also places down uh, two sides. Uh, the first one is a side of vegetables uh, said to be like the best the earth can offer, uh, fresh uh, from Shunil. Mm-hmm. Uh, along with uh, no, sorry, next plate is uh, something else. Sorry, it'll be after this. Okay. So I, I'm just like looking at I'm looking at you like some of the places this guy's talking about I haven't even like heard of before. You, no, you would know Shunil. Shunil is essentially like the Beijing of this place or of this world. Oh, oh okay. 
it's, it's hidden pirate island um no it, it is uh, it is a big city everybody knows about oh uh, okay so um i'm gonna get ready to for my move in a second i'll be like jenna um ulrich j- just follow along with what i do next uh okay. and then uh as he he brings out what he uh like the fourth which is generally the final course in uh ikane meals and he lays it down to you it is a fruit plate of what they call a uh, fire fruit straight from the roti islands oh okay so man i'm i'm, I'm, like, I'm learning all i'm getting i'm eating all this i'm like thank yeah. you sir thank you and when he as soon as he walks away <laughs> as soon as he walks away i'm gonna pull the hair out of my head I'm going to break the hair a little bit so it's like not quite as like, because I have long hair. I don't want it to be that long, just in case. Break the hair. And I'm going to put the... I'm gonna, mind you, I've I already eaten some. I'm going to put... I'm going to slide a handy. I don't know if I need to because someone's watching me. I'm going to put the Did hair in the food. you slide a handy? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the hair in the food. <laughs> and Are you going to call him back, back over? over. <laughs> yes. Hold up. Did, okay, well, we don't have to roll for this. Yes. We don't have to roll yes, for a uh, slide hand. No, you, you nobody's mean, watching you doing it. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so, it, so when the guy comes back over, I'm like, "Yes, sir, uh, sir. Yes, uh, I was promised a fine establishment. Um, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this." And I point to the to the plate with the hair on it. Yes, it it, it uh, seems one of your hairs has uh, fallen on the fruit. One of my hairs. Yes, that that hair is uh, clearly uh, not mine or the chef's. Uh, he would never allow such a thing to be brought out. I don't know. Uh, I, I, for one, am rather offended you would even think it was mine. Oh, uh, believe me, sir. I, the, the chef would never allow it. And uh, I would suggest you not try it. Uh, he is a very large man and a very angry man. Well, I would be angry, too, if I was sending out food with hair in it. Perhaps yes, and, and to insult him like that, uh, I, I would suggest that you either... Uh, Retract your lie, or uh, prepare to leave. So what I do is I can I can I kick the chair up from under him and to try to make try to make him fall over. Uh, Amra, <laughs> like as as as, as no no, no as, as Amra. Yeah. Why me? <laughs> yeah, uh, you, I, you're I, the I, one. Be- uh, that's gonna be an yeah, athletic please, check. Kick it. Does he does he fall? Athletics. Athletics. Okay. Yeah. Oh God. Oh wait, hold up. Yeah. Okay. Well, oh, it's a twenty. Hold on, that was an advantage though. <laughs> yeah, but it's, the twenty was the first roll anyway. Wait, if okay. you accidentally roll so, with advantage, okay. I just take the first roll. So, so he falls over, and I fall on top. I'm just like, oh, and I fall on top of him. I'm just like, I'm, I'm on top of him. What are you doing? Oh, wait. Okay. 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 <laughs> so, like, I knock you over, and I pretend I, I drop my fork. Oh shit! And I and I fall. And I fall. <laughs> I can't stop laughing, but I wasn't. Even, I'm not. I'm raising a lot of people. Uh, yeah. I'm like, oh my god. Ow, oh, I need a doctor. I need a doctor. <laughs> Oink, Oink, get me to a doctor. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm sitting, I'm, I'm laying there. I was like, oh, it's like, Oink, what are you, what's your damn thing? What's your fucking plan? Because you said for us to follow you. And I, now this shit's getting crazy. I mean, realistically, at this doctor. point, you've seen me wander off and like, <laughs> You know, uh, uh, attempt to flirt with a waitress or something like I like when you look over like so, Ulrich, I need I need medical attention of a doctor of a surgeon. You look, I'm so, not even uh, there because I'm, I'm kind of sitting there and now I'm just like oh, and I pretend the fork that I dropped. It's I like I, I put it into my like into my like armpit. Uh, oh, who uh, I fell on the floor. This what kind of establishment has so such sharp forks? Sir, call us a doctor. Hurry, hurry. Is there a doctor in the house? <laughs> you see like one guy in the corner like uh I, I I'm technically a doctor. Uh, I'm not a medical doctor, but uh I might be able to help. Uh this guy he has like this big curly hair, these like very nerdy glasses. Got like this nice uh, bow tie on he he definitely looks like he's like some kind of sciencey sort or like for this world 
What kind of doctor are you? Uh, 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 mostly uh, theoretical kind of stuff, but uh, I did take oh. one year of pre-med. You know what? You know what? You know what? Uh, don't worry about Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We, we, we won't bother you anymore. We're going to go find a doctor. Jenna, let's go. <laughs> Auric. <laughs> And then we just start we start heading out towards this back kicks. <laughs> yeah, you paid it you paid before you ate, you know that, right? Oh wait, I thought we didn't No pay. no you you pay before you eat here. It's that kind of establishment. Yeah. I, that's what I was asking. What, what are you, I was literally yeah. that's why I was just like, what are you doing? As I'm leaving, can I slide a hand and rob the guy? No. And you like he he's completely ignored you by this point, and it's just like he's coming out. He's like, "Well, I guess they are leaving before the uh, surprise final course." Okay, like takes it back. Damn it! We just did, we up. just did the we just did the 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 D and D fucking movie thing where they got pardoned. <laughs> he fucking just D and D Dash. <laughs> no, because he still paid for it. <laughs> We dine just, and yeah, we dollars that we spent. Yeah. What? I lost I, one gold, I, you fuck. As we're getting up to leave, I'm like, you know what? You know what? And I just start taking some of the plates and forks and I walk out. <laughs> you are the most you're the most petty <laughs> motherfucker I've ever heard. <laughs> like was he going to be a paladin when we first started? Hey, he doesn't have to be a righteous people. paladin. He just uh Follow some kind of code. Maybe you just want a code like of chaos. Maybe you pivoted into a bit of a bastard style situation. Yeah. For what? Oh what exactly did they do to deserve this manual? I didn't know. We, I didn't know we paid already. I, I would have found a way to have not paid. As well, we paid leave, in the beginning. God damn it! As we're leaving, <laughs> uh, as we're leaving, I looked at Jed. I'm like, don't worry, we'll get him back. We'll get him back one day when we're level 15 characters. <laughs> we're coming back. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, I, I don't gold. say it like that. I don't say it like that uh, like when we're stronger. <laughs> question. Or, not even, they, uh, were you paying any attention any while they were doing that? You know, you said you were off like flirting. But like when Ooh. they were actually asking for a doctor. Mm -hmm. uh, could you roll an intelligence check for me? I absolutely can. Just generic intelligence, or do you yeah. have like a specific? Yeah, this test? is like recall. You got it. Like the guy who said, uh, like he was a doctor. He something about him seems familiar, but you can't really place it. Like you've seen this guy before, but you don't know for what. Noted. But I will probably escape with my friend so as not to. Yeah. Attract any unwanted attention. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm still in plates and forks, and <laughs> there we go. Yeah, by I friends, I mean these two people I've never met before. Yeah. <laughs> I just happen to be leaving at the same time as them. And we'll so as, as, as you're still as you're still in forks, I, the one that was in my arm pretending, I'm just, I pull it out and just like, here, you, you can take this too. Yeah, I just, like, you, I, you, I, I grab, pretty much I grab everything on the table that's not like bolted down. And I just like, <laughs> see if I ever come back here again, except to kill that guy. <laughs> but see if I ever come gonna... back here again. And so you're gonna get us fucking caught. <laughs> you are the prettiest people I've ever seen. <laughs> anyway, so we leave. We leave with dishes and forks and utensils in hand. Uh, um, he so he basically gives a, a Willy Wonka. Oh wait, don't go. Ooh. We're gonna see a fucking Reddit post tomorrow from JD that's like, "Oh, the JD. my players aren't murder hobos, but they've been stealing silverware from all the restaurants they go to." Is like, should I do something about this? Is that is this bad? I feel like this is bad. You know, uh, one of the big magic schools is gonna come up with theft-proof silverware. Just as soon as you exit the door, it just teleports back onto the back. table. So we. <laughs> I go outside. Presumably, this is a normal city, so there's like a few ruffian kids about, right? Yeah. There's a few so, ruffian kids, he says. People, you know their mean? kids still trying to hawk uh, newspapers. Yeah, my find the thuggish youth. Uh, you know, quick question. Yes. Since I since I do have some parts of since I do have some connections here, it, like, is there any like is, is there any place that 
I would know where to go. Yes, to, like, uh, you both that. would have uh, some knowledge of like the underbelly of this city. Actually, uh -huh. you know, like the closer you get to the docks, essentially the more corrupt it gets. So as mm. you kind of move southwards toward the sea. Yeah, I was say, it's probably safer not to go too close to the docks yet. So I'm going to go find me the, the thuggiest kid I can amongst the kids that are like the riffraff. I'm going to find him and like, hey, kid. Yeah. <laughs> I, got some, I got some nice silver wearing plates. <laughs> yeah, I can hawk this That's for money. Say all the kids love these days is silver wearing <laughs> plates. They love flatware. <laughs> they love silverware. They love everything in between. That's what I'm always saying. You know, they mark this stuff, right? <laughs> It's got the sapphire, like, just crafted into it. Yeah, well, you, it, the silver you can melt down. You can sell it for scrap. I'm sure you can get some coppers out of it or something. Okay, what do you want? Look, it's really <laughs> simple information. Uh, I'm looking for a man in black. He might be traveling with some goblin good friends, uh, goblin helpers. And Is he white people's minds? We just try to find him. If you've seen him, just point us in a direction. Uh. I, I haven't seen him, but I might know somebody who's seen him, or maybe know somebody who knows somebody who's seen him. Oh, oh, who's the someone? Oh, oh that's just the network. They're, they're a bunch of us. Let's just keep tracking everyone. Nobody pays attention to kids. Oh, okay. So, um, can we meet the leader of this network, this head <laughs> kid? Oh, that'd be Jack. <laughs> oh, he doesn't generally do meetups if he doesn't have to. Well, maybe we can make it worth this while. All right. Uh, so uh, how how worth this while is? are we talking? Do we know? Uh, I have a few more plates and maybe another knife or two in my back. Okay, if you're going to want to meet him, you're going to start talking in cash. <laughs> Look, uh, no, this would be out of like your age range. You probably haven't dealt with the youth of this city very much. Like, you know other, like, networks, but not, like, this network of, essentially, newsies. Well, look, we, 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 I'm sure we can beat up a kid if we need to. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start playing rough. You say that every time I ask you a basic question. You, you know, say, you could just give a child, him a gold and, and he... That's unrelated. <laughs> I can beat up a child. Or you could just <laughs> give him money, which is exactly what he's asking for. I'm tired of giving people money. So I'm going to be like... <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'll give him money like a normal person. Are you See, gonna give him money? This guy, this this guy knows how to grease some palms. I, I would be more than happy to grease a few palms. The sticky wheel gets the grease, that's what they say in the industry. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll I'll talk to Jack and I'll see what I can do. Uh, so you said you're looking for a man in black wearing a mask, might have some goblins with him. Yes. I'll see what we know. Okay. Where exactly uh, uh, can I contact you? Well, we're staying at that inn over there, the fire. What's it called? The Fire Rose. The Fire, fire Rose. Rose. Staying, we're staying at the inn called the Fire Rose. Just uh, come find what us there. We? We're a, just come and ask for a halfling named Kor. Just find out what room he's, he's in. He'll, he'll be there. Hopefully he's alive. Um, he could actually who, potentially give you more money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pocketbook is curious. Pocket's gonna be drained oh, while he's asleep. We can't keep mugging his corpse. And it's, it's a, Legally, so we can. We're allowed. He's so, not like, dead. As, as like as as he says that, I kind of wink. He could potentially give you more money. Yeah, and you know he's what? our leader. You, you know what? Just for being so cool to us, here you go. I got, I got a special present for you. I reach in my bag and I just grab like a handful of newspapers, like four, and I'm like, here you go. Wow, <laughs> these are worthless. <laughs> you you did essentially just say here you throw this away. Yeah, basically. <laughs> um, like so, a pamphlet at a rally. So, so uh, um, anyways, presumably we're gonna walk back to the fire rose, right? Yes. Uh, yep, so we're walking sure. back towards the fire rose, and as we're walking around the towards like the front door, because we left to the back, as we're walking to the front door of that restaurant. Um, I roll up a newspaper and I throw it with all my strength, not, not at the window, but at the door, just to like hit it really hard. <laughs> you, you hear, like, as it does that, you like see the door open. You just see this tall blonde man, uh, built fairly, uh, well. And she's like, she just starts yelling obscenities out the door. 
It's like he <laughs> looks around for any like side. It doesn't see anything. Just closes the door, like slams it shut. You can probably hear it for a good, like twice as far as you like think you could hear a door. You could hear many, it basically across town. We, have? <laughs> we still have like forty. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna look at Jetta. I'm like Jetta, don't forget mm. that guy's our new arch nemesis. Him and the owner. It's a, he's the owner. We're take all the him. You oh, him and the actually, waiter. Oh, the waiter. Oh snap! The wait. Yeah. Is, well, we we're ready to come back, and uh, when when we're all done saving the world, um, <laughs> we're taking them out on, on the victory lap. I, I I look at you as like you're as like God damn it! I'm not letting you ruin another fine dine cuisine that we've had. Yeah, and that was probably one of the best it. meals you've ever had. Like, like that is yeah. like three Michelin star that's, cuisine that he just that's, like that's, ruined that's the experience pretty, of. So I was like, you ruined my one of the best restaurants I have ever eaten at. And I only decided I thought that you had a plan and I roll out with you, but apparently you don't have we didn't have a plan. <laughs> is there a, I want to start there... a restaurant one day. So I need you to not get us kicked out of any more restaurants. I so want to taste you... the best food. <laughs> presumably we have the newspaper in hand, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna go to the newspaper, and I'm presumably there's a lifestyle section or something. Like, well, obviously we read about this restaurant. Yeah. So I'm gonna look. Is there a place where we can like submit a, a review? <laughs> can we Yelp this place? No. I mean, you, you can go around Yelp. spreading rumors that the place is terrible, but there's no like, you can't just submit a user review to the newspaper, which uh, by the way is named the Daily Banner. Daily Banner. Oh, I want a Yelp review. I want a Yelp zero stars. <laughs> okay, never mind. I mean, yeah, just tell us like every other Yelp review. Your opinion doesn't matter. Yeah. As we walk back into the fiery rose, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look towards whoever's at the front desk. Presumably, one of the roses to be like, "Have you ever been to that restaurant? I forgot his name." <laughs> the Sapphire Bond? Sapphire Bond. Sapphire Bond. It's Bond. Terrible terrible the management's terrible the, the servers are terrible the food is terrible they the management whack the food whack not only and then so as, as as we're over here i'm just like not only that that cut that that customer is terrible too <laughs> no, and, I just, and then okay, I, 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 I reached back <laughs> into my bags to get like the the, the plates and the cutlery that the youth the, the kid didn't want the second time and be like and look at this stuff can you believe they serve food on this and i put it i, I don't slam it i put it on the table I'm like here you can have these and i just walk away <laughs> that's the fourth that he's me. looking at this because as far as he can tell this is like super fine like plates made very well like this is like fine china essentially <laughs> maybe i should take them back yeah, maybe you I should have stolen them in the first place. I walk back. I'm like, you know what? And I just grab them and walk away. <laughs> we're we're going to get them back. We're going to get them back, Jenna. Don't worry. And I sit here. And I'm just like, you. We, we can never go back to that restaurant ever again. <laughs> I'm going to go. Back. I'm going to go back and I'm going to ask to speak to their manager. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, you know that big guy you just saw, Manuel? You You're going to meet that guy. Oh, we have to fight him. Yeah. Good old fighting the boss before starting the game. We got this. <laughs> we, we just need a few more levels anyway. So, um, I don't know. Do, do, are, right, we so we wait. To, are we going to just wait here for the kids to show up? Yeah. Well, I mean, unless you want to go out about town. Otherwise, you... Well, we're going we're to wait here for the kids to show up. I know how to play... Uh, wait, sorry. Hold on. I'm trying to find this thing. Is it called Dragon Chess? Yes. Yeah, I haven't. Apparently, one of the things I, I stole when I fleeing for my life for my fake captors, besides that fucking flute and the flower, I stole a dragon chess board. <laughs> and uh, I know how to play very well, apparently. So uh, I want to play dragon chess just just for the fuck of it to pass the time. Uh, are you playing against uh, <laughs> yeah, someone? I'm, I'm, we're doing a little, we're playing a little mini tournament. Me, me uh, uh, Jetta, Jetta versus Amra, I and the winner fights the. The winner fights, uh, not fights, the winner plays uh, Ulrich. Then there's a loser bracket. And then whoever, you know, wins out the loser bracket faces, uh, you know, the, the winner between it, whoever the fuck. Okay, so you're going to go just, on that oh, for yeah. a couple hours or so? Like, yeah. uh, are you playing in your room or are you playing in the, like, common room? In the common room. Like, just, you know, just, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you want to challenge me on this, huh? 
<laughs> so you'll, you'll attract a couple people watching, a couple like people just commentating. It's like interesting opening. Wouldn't have gone with that. Would have uh, <laughs> gone with the red blossom gambit, but interesting yeah, nonetheless. <laughs> uh, so you, you don't know what we're doing. If you're if you're not playing, don't comment. Understood. <laughs> Don't no backseat, no backseat game. No backseat gaming. Roll contested intelligence checks. You have a proficiency oh, with this, so add a plus two. Uh, okay. Manual. So it's actually gonna. I'll what? just roll a normal. Pl- I roll a normal d20. Intelligence. I don't have a. I don't. I don't have a bonus. I'm gonna oh, roll a normal d20 okay. plus two. You have you. No. Oh, Why oh, not just okay. click intelligence on your character sheet? Because then he yeah, saw that plus a... two. You just click it. Oh my god, I still Manu, you're not on Reddit. Actual rule. Reddit. He's on Reddit. <laughs> Alright, Manuel, let's go. Oh, uh... oh shit, that was a save, my bad. I yeah, mean you don't the same thing. Oh, <laughs> Alright. Yeah, uh Wait, who rolled a zero? I didn't roll anything, by the way. That that was an intelligence check from before. <laughs> Wait, did I lose? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you. Like you, you make one wrong move. Like you take your hand off a piece, one square before oh, so you're supposed to move it, and like you've already taken your hand off it. So you try and like fix that move, but uh, Jen is like, nope, nope. We we play it. as soon as the hand's off it, the move is done, and that just like yeah, cascades yeah. into you losing that match. It's only one. Don't worry. Now that was Jetta and Ulrich. You might give it a rematch. Yeah. About halfway through that match, uh, oh, you okay. see <laughs> like a, a teenage uh, looking boy walks into the room. Got like the uh, newsboy cap on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm here to see a core. I heard he was asking for me. Oh, well, of we, course. We, they're we, little... we, you could talk to him through us. You can talk to us, yes. Of course. Yes, yes, yes. I was to told I was expecting lackeys. a half we're his, we're... Oh, No, no, we're his lackeys. Yeah. We're his lackeys, you see. Yeah, he's actually he's actually our boss. Yeah, he's a small man, but he if has you want to talk to him, up. you talk through us. Fine. Yeah. Name's Jack. Heard you guys were asking about me. Yeah, Jack, you got some uh info for us if we've got the uh, you know, correct payment. And I I pull out two silver pieces and rub them together. And, and I pull out a fork and start like twirling it. <laughs> <laughs> ah yes, spaghetti. Like, <laughs> like I have a fork. <laughs> okay, uh, is is your friend all there? It's impossible to say. He could act irrationally at any moment, unless you were willing just... to uh, take your due compensation. I could do to rub the two silver pieces together. He puts his hand out. I uh, assume you put them in his hand. He puts it back. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, took me a minute. Tracking this guy down was hard, but uh, yes, there are records of him having been in the city. You uh, uh, you remember if he had some of these little goblins running around with him? Uh, I didn't see anything about any goblins, but... Uh, it but seems you that did see the masked man. There was a masked man roughly matching the description you gave. You see where, uh, where he was going, what sort of yeah, stores he, he went to, what sort uh, of events he attended, anything in between? There's does, more didn't really it, seem to stop for remember. much, but... Except for a warehouse in the docks district. Went what in. What sort of warehouse? I slided one more silver to him. Yeah. Uh, warehouse. Uh, as far as we know, it's been abandoned for years. He went in there, came out a couple hours later. You uh, you see where he went after that? Or if he talked to anyone in between? Uh, yeah. He, uh, one of my guys uh, found him. Uh, seemed to have been distracted by something. Managed to slip something out of his purse. Slip uh, uh, what? Oh, what are we talking about? Said it was a gemstone of some sort. He fenced it. It's probably at St. Jimmy's now. Wait. So All so right. Well, just in case, me. just in case we need to acquire said gemstone on, on an off chance. Not that we would. But if we were to <laughs> want to grab that, where would we find St. Jimmy's? Everybody Don't knows. say track six of a Green Day album. That's not what I mean. <laughs> but, 
Yeah, it is track six. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm just drunk enough to be able to manifest that type of information. <laughs> but no, uh, it, St. James is the like the nickname for a famous temple uh, to yeah. Larg in this city. It's known for possible corruption. Uh, those two having worked in the underworld would, or adjacent to the underworld will know that. And that they have like an auction every so often. So, so if I wanted to goods. buy something from them, I'd probably have to attend the auction rather than like just go up and say, hey, I need this thing. Yeah. You have this thing. I yeah. have to go to the auction. Yeah. Ah, shit. All right. Oh, we're so pro. We're so poor. Well, thanks for the info. Did you see where the masked man headed off to? Any kind of cardinal direction? Anything? Uh, after that, uh, he of? hopped ship. Uh, probably headed for either Toanada or uh, Rashin. I can't really say which way otherwise. Uh, ship might have been... What was its name? I, it's on the tip of my tongue. You got uh, anything that can help me with that? God, you know, if I knew where it was going at this point, I pull out a gold piece and I say, you know, if I knew where it was going to the proper location, maybe that would refresh my memory. I'm like flicking in between my fingers. Uh, look, I, I can't tell you where it was going. I can tell you what, uh, its name was the Mistborn. Uh, Captain, uh, her name's Bard. Go look for her at the docks. She can probably tell you. Captain Bard of the Mistborn, and I, I sort of slam the gold down with my Captain middle Bard finger and push Mistborn. it towards him. Sort of, you know, do a big stretch after that, letting him go of the gold. And then um, Amor slams down the fork and slides it for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, but I, I don't need a fork. Fine. That's actually my fork, and I take that shit back. <laughs> Yeah, at this make, point, we're flush with newspapers and forks, so we need to make the best of our resources. <laughs> Wait, are, are, are you the dude who bought all of Ricky's papers? Yeah, you want yeah, some? It's, it's no, no, I, I'm just... No, I, I need all of them. I need all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't believe right, so somebody actually family. did that. I have a plan for this. <laughs> okay. We're, well, we're going to make a, a paper hut. We're going to make a fort. No, I'm going to make paper flowers. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. That's a channel. Oh, this is swoon. Swooning bitches. <laughs> <laughs> All right, DM. I suppose I will. Uh, I don't know. Is, is there any way for me to inquire information? Maybe not necessarily from these guys. I feel like I've sort of exhausted this well. Uh, to inquire where and when I can participate in one of these little, you know, auctions, we'll say. Yeah, uh, your other two friends could probably leverage some of their underground contacts. It's at probably it's probably once every two weeks. Okay. So I don't suppose one of those auctions happens to be coming up, does it? Three days, probably. Okay, okay, that's not unreasonable. We can keep ourselves busy for three days. Yeah, I mean, you have some stuff to research. I mean, you you know. Where he went, you don't know what he did inside of there, you, or you can check the docks and try and see where he went afterwards. We go to the we go to the where oh, yeah we go yeah. to the warehouse. We're gonna I, agree, talk with, to, was I, it I agree with the plan that you two came up with. Your plan is genius. We bide our time by researching where the masked man went, then we attend this auction and get that other gem. Genius. I couldn't oh, wait, have said it better gonna... myself. You two are you you two are unparalleled <laughs> in, I was your, in just... your intelligence. I was going to brute force my way to the auction and steal the gem and then run the fuck out of town and hopefully catch a ship on the way. Interesting. That's the opposite of what you said not <laughs> a few moments ago. Are you sure? It, it seems as though maybe your first plan was well, uh, honestly a, a, an act of genius. In fact. Fine. Fine. I guess we'll research when, like, more on the auction. Wait, more? When are we researching? Sorry. The warehouse first. The warehouse first. Yeah, okay. The warehouse. So, in a, ra in a very roundabout way, I guess, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were going to see whether the gem is being held first. Okay. Then, yeah. uh, DM, I guess our current plan is uh, bide our time while we wait for the auction with the intention to go to the auction and maybe try to see if we can get a gem. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, in the meantime, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll try to figure out maybe where the masked man went based off of the captain and the name of the ship. Okay, yeah. so what about the warehouse? What about it? <laughs> Are you going to investigate okay. that? 
you know, he yeah, went I, in there. I, did I, I guess I guess we have three days. We have plenty of time. So yeah. We walk, yeah, we walk to the warehouse. I assume most of this can be accomplished in approximately a day if we don't, um, out of character, roll like ass. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> well, I mean, he he told you where the warehouse is. He gave you, like, a yeah, number yeah. and a general vicinity. And these two know, I just mean, you know like, the warehouse. It shouldn't districts. take us that long to recall information or ask around about stuff. So. Yes. Yeah. But, uh, I'm pretty, my, my plan is to go down there and just be, like, handing out some forks and newspapers and be like, hey. Do you happen to know if the jam is it being would, kept there? Would fucking do that. <laughs> you know, exactly the thing that newsies want. Day old newspaper. Yeah, it's still good. It's still good. It's day old newspaper here. News from but from yesterday. <laughs> Too learn bad what they only could learn in the past. <laughs> Too bad you pissed off the it's restaurant history. owner. You got to use that for fish and chips. What are you going to do? Learn it from today? That's old news. What you need is genuinely old news. <laughs> How about some... <laughs> Some forks, only slightly used. Careful of that world leader. He's a bad egg. He's probably got some kind of terrible machination going on, knowing world leaders. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, are you yeah, going to rest for the day, or are you... Uh, yeah, we don't no, we're good. Yeah, the warehouse. I, I mean, at some point, we'll, we'll have to take a little, you know, take a little rest, so... We don't. We don't want to become exhausted uh, from our various adventures. You'll split... We could split up? <laughs> Ooh. Don't split up. I hate splitting up. If by split up, you mean you rest for four hours, and then while he takes a watch, I mean, not a watch, I guess, you know, yeah. whatever, we're in a town, uh, you can go fuck off and do whatever you want. Yeah. If you mean I get eight hours of sleep, yes. That is the, that is a great plan, and I agree to it. And break. Yeah. We're going to break. So, yes, you will piss. sleep for the night. You have obviously felt well connected these past couple days. So nothing of note goes on. That's probably uh -huh. good. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I should wait for Manuel to get back. Like, Innkeeper asks, you staying another day? Or if you, you plan to get out? Because you only paid for one day so far. Oh, yeah, we're definitely probably core paying. Stay. I pick up yeah, core's body. I'm he's like, on, he's like yeah, we're still... We're still <laughs> Do you, are you taking core with you? Because no, that might draw attention. Like, uh, no. Well, though most people, we some people might a, look the other way, given how uh, criminal this part of town is. You might be able to carry a body around the warehouse. It's like, oh yeah, that guy's just going to dispose a body. Nothing. We're just going to take. We're going to take his body. Just like use him as use him as a wedge. Just, <laughs> just in case he wakes up. And just throw Carry him around just Literally in case he wakes wait. up. Wait, what are we doing? What are we right. doing? What I miss? We're staying another. We, have, we need to pay for two more nights. What the fuck? Can we just sleep on the Dude. streets? Do you want to get shanked, uh, Manuel? Because that's how you get shanked. We get, we can I, keep I, 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 I look at you. He's like, you know, you don't want to sleep on these streets. Ah, we fine, did this a long man. time. We, we've done we've done this too many times. Fine, fine, fine. I think I called on <laughs> another cold <laughs> out of out of course thing. <laughs> Yo, it's it's two gold. No, yeah, two gold, gold for two guys. No, gold. wait, it's uh, okay. eight gold. silver, which is basically a gold minus two silver. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he's missing. Uh, he's missing just shy of three gold at the moment. No, one point two and, gold. So anyway, but we gave the gold for the newspaper, oh. so two point two. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so um, I guess it's fine. I guess we'll stay here, wait for over. I mean, uh, core to wake up. No, no, you see, you carry him around just in case he wakes up. Never know what could wake him up. Like some adventure so that he's just there ready to be. I was saying that we could use his body as a wedge. <laughs> or you never know when he might wake up. The body on the floor. Do you want him to wake <laughs> up in a city he's never, like, spent that much time in? And, and then he can keep, we can keep making him pay for things. <laughs> <laughs> we can harvest, we can harvest his, uh, his organs. You know, I used to... Okay, to, calm uh, down. We don't yeah, need to use him as a fucking Let's just resource. get back to the figuring yeah, out what to, the Smash Man was doing. Deal in contraband, okay? We could get a lot of money for this guy for his his kidneys. So if we hang out near near the near the warehouse, can we like? Yes, if you 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 basically just have to ask, hey, where is this warehouse? And someone will like point you in that direction properly. Can we can we, we steal the can we just steal yeah, the yeah. gem? 
I mean, I mean yeah, but you have to heist on an underground area that might be protected by who knows what kind okay, of arcane so, or sorry, not divine like would magic. I know, would I know where the warehouse is? Yes, it's the in the warehouse I district. Would... Like you, Hold on, the okay. warehouse district is fairly All evenly laid out in like a grid. Hold on. All no, like, where is aside, I have, I have a better idea. What's your better idea? This is a much better idea. How about much better idea? we wait until the auction is, is held? We go to it. We wait for someone to win it. I'm sure it won't be us because we don't have that much gold. We wait for someone to win it. And then we get it off that person. So you know Dude, people at underground yeah. auctions aren't either armed or guarded. L let me well, ask you. Let me ask you a question. Into a let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. I'm sitting here and I'm just like, okay. Uh, let me, first let me thing ask I'll you, let you a know. series of possibly three questions, Manuel. This is for, this is from How to oh, Manual. I see I'm why your I see why your Rick crew to, kicked you out. Uh, whatever the fuck. <laughs> the name is. So <laughs> let, me, let me ask you a series of questions. Question number one. I say, are you? Do you that? think the person who would win this auction is richer than us? Yes or no? It's just yes or no. I don't need an explanation. Yes. Okay. Do you think that someone richer than us could afford a level of protection that might cause an issue? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Do you think that that might pose an issue more so than trying to take it from the back of this little auctioneer's place? Yes or no? No, because okay. I think that the auctioneer's place might be might be more heavily guarded than just a random. I like how you said this is a yes or no question. All right. Uh, okay. Then we then we uh, then we lie in wait. I just want to clarify something. The warehouse uh -huh. is not where they're storing the stuff before the auction. The warehouse is a completely different building that uh, the masked man is said to have gone into and left a couple hours later. Then it sounds like we could maybe um, uh, accidentally stumble upon it um, and then into it and then um, uh, rummage around and then also out of it. Okay. The warehouse. Yes. Right. So I. I I take these guys. I take these guys yeah. to warehouse district. Yes. I was like, all right, guys. I know where this is. Used to do a lot of deals over here. Yes, you will eventually. Oh, shit. Uh, RGB. <laughs> yes, you don't see any of that yet. You see just this main area right here. Oh, okay. R not RGB. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this is one of the biggest warehouses, and you still think that there might be like some kind of spatial magic making this place seem like larger than it should be on the inside. But as you walk in here, you are overcome by the stench of death. Like, like as you look at it, there's blood on the floor and dead bodies. And you have no idea how they got there. And I think that's where we're going to end it for tonight. I see. This is where Barrett not, went. Oh, I'm so mad at you. I'm not going to lie. Like, like. I was like, oh, I guess we're not going to end it when we were going to, like, you know, we're still just debating what to do next. And then when I'm like, fuck it, I guess we'll play some more. And I went to go piss and I feel a little better now. And now you win it. Yeah. <laughs> I got to end it on some kind of hook for it. the next one. So you discovered a warehouse full of dead bodies. It's just like, hmm. And I come Ooh. in here and it's just like, oh, like good old day, good, like good times. The deal's gone bad. You know what I was thinking? Also, good times are like good times. I miss Pryor. Pryor would want to eat some of these people. <laughs> That's gross. Yeah. <laughs> he would, though. He would legit, like, can I eat some of them? <laughs> they're they're people, would. Manuel, not beasts, though. He at least seemed to eat are they beasts. people, people? They're people, people. I don't know. I could have sworn I saw him eat a goblet or something once. I'm not even joking. But anyway. <laughs> anyway. anyway. That's a good place to end it. Mm -hmm. This is a fun stream. Uh, hopefully, everyone fun. shows up next time. Yeah. None of us have heard from Andrew. Hopefully, he, hopefully Vinny finally makes his entrance. We will um, see. Yeah, the next one will be on. I know it's in November. It's on the November tenth. Tenth. Yeah, and I'm gonna tell you right now that. Mm -hmm. Just in advance, that I'm not so sure about the 24th. I'm fine with the 24th, but that's also Black Friday. That is so. very yeah. much in advance. Yeah. So yeah. Mm. So anyway, I'm just saying those those are the two next streams. I'm just saying. So FYI, the next one will be the 10th and maybe the 24th. Mm -hmm. But tune in, tune in to find out. And next Tuesday, there might not be a UPC. Yeah, no UPC. There might not be a UPC. 
no UPC. And next Wednesday, me and Warren are playing some Sunlight Scream. And next Thursday, oh, yeah. I'll be in Vegas. Woo-hoo. Oh, yeah. If you're right. in Vegas, if you're in Vegas, come see my panels. If you're in AXG, come see my panels. If you're at San Diego Anime Con, come see my panels. Thank you all for watching. Yeah, thank you so much, guys, for uh, yeah. tuning in. We, we thank you for joining Drink Talk Roll. If you decide to drink along with us, we ask that you drink uh, responsibly uh, and didn't uh, drink and drive tonight. Um, thank you very much. We we enjoyed having you. Yeah. Good night. Have Good night. Everyone. Peace Good out. Night. Love you all. Uh,